some uh oh gosh hold on let me fix my input here call of cthulhu well there we go that's what we're looking for that might be a little loud let's let's gush that down a bit all right uh where'd we leave off last time we were uh hawkins mansion we just escaped the insane asylum that's right and we're at it again we are we are figuring out the mysteries of this world I, I love this. It seemed out of place while we were playing the game, but now we can get a reminder. Pierce woke up in an asylum, installed in a installed in a cellar in the cellars of the Riverside Institute. He met Dr. Colden, a female friend of Bradley who helped him escape, wandering through the corridors of this place where Dr. Fueller reigns supreme. Pierce was able to talk to a man called Francis Sanders, uh, not related to the Bernie Sanders before dying in full view of the detective. He accused Sarah Hawkins of being the cause of his torments. Pierce finally left the accursed building, accompanied by Bradley and Colden. The companions, in misfortune, decided to use the Hawkins mansion as hideout. All right. Uh, we just found out Hawkins was still alive. That's right. He was the squid man down below. So now, is this our first glimpse at the Mad God? This looks very Cthulian. <gasps> We're having Who a nightmare there? again. All right. All right, all right. We're up. That nightmare again. I need a drink. And there's that painting that we saw on the wall. These are grave accusations. Do you realize what they mean? I have a duty to my patients. That man is toying with their lives. Who knows what he could do if you say it's true. All You're right, great, Mr. Pierce. Yes, oh, I should have listened in a little longer. <laughs> Did I sleep long? The day is only starting. It's fine. All right, the day is starting. I'm assuming daytime we're gonna have a lot less trouble than night. And the officer wants to speak with How's us. How's that fugitive? Doctor Fuller hasn't reported your disappearance to the force, but that'll come soon. Mm -hmm. Bradley, Who how are you waiting? alive? Mr. Pierce, are you all right? You look like you saw a ghost. I... Th there are things I, I can't explain. Tell us. What happened? All right. I think we're... Hmm. Oh, we don't have enough occult to say Sarah Hawkins was the object. It, I like that it tells us that we weren't able to use that answer, at least. Uh, let's, let's talk to Colden first. Sarah Hawkins I found was a committed. file bearing Sarah Hawkins' name in the Institute's basement. Yes, we that did. Makes sense. A powerful family like the Hawkins had the means to hide such a disgrace. But everyone knows the Fullers have been taking care of the Hawkins for at least a generation. And all were aware of Mrs. Hawkins' fragility. Perhaps, mm -hmm. but no one would allow a psychiatric internment. From what I read in the file, Fuller used her as a subject of his experiments. So you, I think Francis Fuller Sanders might. And Sarah Hawkins, subjects of Doctor Fuller. Why those two? I think Fuller might be the conduit that the occult is coming from. Uh, did Fuller found Riverside? Given the energy he pours into Riverside, I presume it was Fuller's creation. His father's, to be correct. He was a surgeon on board the Scylla. Okay. He founded the hospital in 1904 with funds from the Hawkins family. Before he died, and his son Thomas Fuller took over. Gotcha. So they were in cahoots. Inextricably linked. Most island families are that way. Captain Fitzroy's father was also a seaman aboard the Scylla. Powerful families dominating everything. Yes. Uh, the wealthy own and it as all. You can tell, Dr. Fuller is like some crazed emperor. He wouldn't and be no happy one's going to question them. We snooping around. I know the risks. I don't fear him. Do you wish to know anything else? Burn it to the ground, indeed. We can't let them have control over it all. Dr. Fuller seems to be leaving. This is what happens. They Not leave trails of bodies and machines. machines, chains and tools of all kind. Yes. This isn't progress. This is Satan. His patients as guinea pigs. What I saw was more akin to torture than medicine. Do you even hear what you're saying? Dr. Fuller is highly respected. But no one knows it's what happens truth, in those Ethan. walls. And I'll prove it to you. I'm listening, Mr. Pierce. All right. Uh, we'll come back to her. Let's see what Bradley has to say. 
No! Our medicine is high! Dang it. Uh, you and Dr. Colton. Should we test psychology on this? Bezos is working on the machines, you're right! Oh god. The Amazon workers. Someone think of the Amazon workers. What are they gonna be used for? I said that in satire, but that is actually more concerning now that it's left my mouth. Like, who knows what's actually gonna happen in those factories in a couple of years. What I'm sure of now is that the Hawkins case isn't just an accident. That's very true. And what brings you to that conclusion? The fact that Charles Hawkins survived the fire. I don't understand. Mr. Hawkins was buried. That's what he would have you believe. I have a hard time believing you. You were there, you Bradley. Were there, Bradley. Ha! <laughs> I remember that. Why did he fake his own death? I love it when I'm so on the same wavelength with the character. That's possible. It seems hard to swallow. Don't you have anything more concrete, Pierce? Uh, we don't, actually. Oh, wait. Ooh. Uh, let's, let's do this first. I heard you talking earlier. Why am I not surprised? I get the impression you two don't get along. Intrusive and not very clever. Mm -mm. Anyway, let's get back to the business at hand. All right. That didn't do much. Bradley, what do you remember? I don't understand your question. The night we went into the Bradley's Hawkins a Cthulian mansion. spy, right? You That's what's happened. The He's been replaced with some there. sort of changeling. I have no memory of going down any tunnel. No, we were in the manor then. Uh, then what? I. Uh, then you don't know. The rest is quite blurry. I don't recall how I came back home. Exactly. And Those then, are beady eyes. I went to visit you. He can't even hospital. make eye contact with me. And called on Marie's help to get you released. And you don't remember the events of the tunnel. I don't. Let's talk about something else. Because you don't want to accidentally give it away. All right. I, I, met I might be on to a lead. Sanders. You know him. Of course. He's a patient. Or was. I haven't seen him since Dr. Fuller had him transferred to the basement. He knew Sarah Hawkins. And that's what killed him. That's what killed him? What? How did he die? I don't know about that. I'm not sure. I think it was some sort of invisible specter that ripped the Mr. life Sanders from his body. Uh, I, he called I him the Shambler. See what, but something was there with us. Of what do you speak? Sanders said it was Sarah Hawkins' visitor. He spoke of it like a living being. Sarah Hawkins. If I miss something here, you've missed a lot here, buddy. Makes no sense. I don't see how it can help crack the Hawkins case. You really think she's involved? How could she have murdered Mr. Sanders? Francis Sanders mentioned Mrs. Hawkins just before dying. It's no coincidence. You know, Francis Sanders was a well known art collector. I guess you can and still her pay a visit to his wife, Irene Sanders, and their An son, Bernie. Say. That's probably how they met. If you plan on having dinner at the Sanders household, please spare the widow the tale of her late husband's suffering. I don't know. That's agree. probably smart. She deserves the truth. Oh, but that get out of here, may be cop. Biased. We don't know the bottom of it. That's true. Uh, let's stay You're right. prudent. Without a plausible explanation for what I saw, let's not jump to conclusions. That seems wise indeed. This will Very affect well. my destiny. I'll go to see what? Francis's widow. Perhaps I'll find They're just going to drop on that on me casually out of nowhere? Don't end up oh, in gosh. Why such a subtle thing, too, that is suddenly like, I'll do my best. you're fucked? All right. Well, now we know. Now we know. The, the choices you make affect the things that happen, apparently. Uh, I think we've already explored all this, so I doubt they're going to have anything new suddenly have popped up. But we can take a quick look around and see. Alright. Let's head to the Sanders house. The Sanders resident. Pierce, Colden, and Bradley decided to team up to solve the Sarah Hawkins case. They have a new trial to follow. 
Francis San Trail, not trial. Ooh, English is hard. Francis Sanders, an art collector and friend of the painter who died right in front of Pierce. The detective goes to his house in order to speak to his widow about the shambler that the unfortunate man mentioned before he died. All right, let's do this. Enter the madness. What can I do for you, sir? Mrs. Sanders, I'm a private detective. We must talk about your husband and his ties to Sarah Hawkins. Can I come in? You may. Uh. <laughs> oh, further, um. That my husband died. Yes. I mean, they both should that be what on my well, my well, clips if you check my profile. Here. Uh, but it was, was it this one? No. You oh, God, I have wet and gushy on Our my copy-paste now. Briefly. Dang it. The brave detective has a talent for sticking his nose into my business. I bump into her. Give me Every two seconds. Every time I'm investigating someone's death, we come here. It's a small island, detective. My island. It's better that it's you bumping into me. You're investigating right. Francis' death. Why? Who hired you? I spoke to Francis before he died. His story suggests a link to a case I'm working on. Well, since this business has got nothing to there do with you have me, it. I'll be in your husband's office, Irene. We'll carry on later. Very well, Miss Baker. This way, Mr. Pierce. And do make yourself comfortable. It would seem that you have much to tell me. Ooh. Look at this art. Uh, yes, and upon your request, I will legitimately delete that too if you want. To my husband. <laughs> Yesterday, I met him at the hospital. He spoke to me about Sarah Hawkins. Oh, of course he spoke to you about her. That's all he talked about. Sarah Hawkins and her paintings. Please forgive my tone. The fact is that I have not been allowed to see him. She since sounds he was a little. You, uh, on the other hand, a perfect stranger, were able to see him and even talk with him the day he died. How was he? <laughs> when he had this attack. Okay, so she knows he's what dead. Happened? Oh shit! You must not feel guilty. He died. Oh gosh. Um. I mean, what let's happened do this to your first. husband is terrible, Mrs. Sanders. <laughs> yeah, you I do. Saw, you gotta drop that big inevitable. scandal. Get the Man scandal out of the way, so that when you bi make it big, you can be like, "Oh, we've already no talked about this." If you would allow me such a platitude. Of course. Thank you for your kind words. Nobody in that hospital would have deigned to speak them to me. However, it will require more than that to soothe my mind. Yep. I need to understand. How, how could this happen? In a reputed institute. And, and right before your eyes. Did you not do anything to help him? I couldn't. It was a ghost. All right. Uh, I don't think our eloquence is very high. Should we test it anyways? Hmm... I don't think so. I think we're going to fail that test. So ask Fuller. He's the eminent doctor. But I would caution you. You'll find his treatments more terrifying than the illnesses he sets out to cure. That churl no longer takes the trouble to receive me. He sends his secretary to tell me that I cannot you know, see Francis. Me. His own widow. I miss the term receive me. a terrible me. wife for having abandoned him in such a way. But I only wanted what was best. I know for it's old-timey speak, I'm not but like the idea of Mr. being Sarah. received when you oh, go somewhere, tired, it Pierce. just sounds so pretentious and I would like, be grateful if you could tell me what you expect. Exciting. And then leave. All right, what do we expect? Did he speak to you of the Shambler? Let's start with Did that. Did your husband talk to you about Sarah Hawkins' visitor? A Shambler, to use his precise terms. <laughs> well, you can't imagine that's all he talked about. 
It's exhibited at the center of the gallery. No better place for the painting that endowed him with the Ooh. privilege of such a shameful and miserable end. Can we to his see life. the picture of Hold the on. Shambler? The Shambler is a painting by Sarah Hawkins. Who else to paint such horrors? Take a look for yourself. Yes, if you feel we absolutely so inclined. are inclined. It is my only lead at this stage. I suppose I have nothing to lose. Although looking then at this painting is no probably going to lead for us my into part, madness. I refuse to set foot in that gallery again. But if you are so eager to see it, I would urge you to make the most of your visit. Because I count on ridding myself of that thing as soon as I can. She knows Thank the painting's you, Mrs. cause. I won't be long. All right. Let's take a look around the house, see what we got. Did she really care for him after all? I acknowledge receipt of the letter in which you demand the body of your deceased husband. I am sorry to inform you that I cannot agree to return his body to you. At the moment of his entreatment, you signed a discharge allowing me to dispose of the body as I see fit. I extend my deepest condolences, Thomas Fuller. That's rough. I can't even imagine not being given back the body of your deceased husband. Like, this the guy is on some next level. The Sanders lives. Ooh. It gives us the option to rotate all of these, but there's been nothing on the back of them yet. Okay. That's intr that's the first time interacting with something specifically has triggered the reconstruction. What are we reconstructing here? A house of artists. Yes. Clearly, they have a piano. They must be artists. What does that make me? I own a piano. Uh, what is what is your thing here? Francis Sanders and Sarah Hawkins were close. Mm -hmm. Friends, even? Estranged lovers, maybe? Who knows? Sanders' accession register. He wrote beside the Shambler. Finally. So this what is a piece Sarah he's been Hawkins wanting to acquire so for a while. She didn't want to sell the painting. Maybe she trapped like the entire spirit of the Shambler within it. Can we venture further out here? Nope. Oh, there it is. He finally won. Was Sanders aware of his imminent doom? That's a. Uh... An interesting painting. Was she jealous of Sarah Hawkins? She first refused to sell the painting. How did that make her feel? All right, let's see. Ah! Let's go insane. Yep. to see it the second volume of the series covers everything from gas gangrene to trench nephritis in addition to a precise and detailed study the book presents some avant-garde theories Ooh, avant-garde medical theories what is that i i did not even know avant like like uh the whole avant-garde movement reached medicine. I mean, it makes sense. It, I, you could probably consider that, like, the whole consciousness studies and, uh, like, astral projecting and stuff, a uh, sort of avant-garde movement on science, too. Which is interesting. Let's see what this cylinder has to say once it's inserted in a phonograph. <sighs> what a weird way to phrase that. I, I don't, the phrasing of that made me very uncomfortable. I could use one of those. Sleeping pills? Everyone has sleeping pills in this town. Strange. For months, Sarah Hawkins refused to part with her painting, to finally give it away for nothing. I beg you to give up all hope of ever owning the accursed painting. If our friendship has any meaning to you, please spare me the weight of guilt. 
I cannot be the architect of your fall. I beg you, my dear friend, forget the Shambler. See, she knew there was darkness in that painting. Another volume of the Reverend's wife's diary. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Uh, should we bust this open? Yeah, why not? Ooh, secrets behind the... Is this... It is the work of a student in book form. Although observations are relevant, they lack the exper expertise of an experienced physician. However, the questions asked allow us to imagine new ways of exploring human anatomy. Hmm. See, that's the important thing about getting perspective before you've been indoctrined into the field. Yes, we were able to force it. Would you read the book? Oh, is this going to be some Necronomicon shit? Yes. This will affect my destiny. All right. We're going to go. We just got the achievement beyond reality. We're, we're going to become batshit in this. It's a kind of encyclopedia of monstrous and unknown creatures. I'm beginning to believe they exist. Oh, fuck. Okay. That's twice you've stepped on my toes, Detective. Try not to make a habit of it. I've got a lot of bad All right, habits. Cat. Some can be more fatal than others. What have you come looking for in this gallery? Uh, hmm. I doubt we're gonna pass it, but I feel like let's just piss I Cass have a off to note it. I in Boston who heard about the death of Francis Sanders and wanted me to size up his estate before making an offer to his widow. Perfect, Detective. The pretext? The body language? Yep. I would have bought it if it was the first time I'd seen your face. You're a good talker, Pierce. Your story will do for the moment. Okay. And what are you and doing you? here? What brings you to the Sanders home? I'm here on business. Irene asked me to liquidate all these paintings. She doesn't intend to hang around here for long. Why you? Believe it or not, there aren't many collectors on Darkwater. It needs someone with a network, and a means of transport to the mainland. A choice that comes down to Fitzroy and me. And I'm far more pleasant, wouldn't you say? Fair enough. Alright. Into the gallery we go. Okay, we have the option to hide right now, so I think things are about to get buck wild in here. One, I, I bet as soon as we look at the Shambler, shit is going to go down. So let's let's get everything else out of the way. There's a knife in there. We might need that. These artifacts date from pre-Columbian times. For a detective, he knows a lot about archaeology. This is a hell of a gallery. The entire wing of his man yeah. an art gallery. I was thinking the same thing. This feels a bit excessive. I mean, it's indulgent for sure. The public entrance to the gallery. Oh gosh, so this is for public display too. There's another knife here. It's really interesting, the reaction to looking at these knives, he's just given us a hmm. Which seems to further imply that we're going to have to use them in a bit. Why was he so interested in old weapons? So now we know there's two potential knives we can pick up. Alright. Let's do this. Let's enter the madness. Here we go. Yep. The painting's alive, homie.
<laughs> I would literally shit myself. There is no way. Yep, and here we go. What the hell was that? Now we do the sneaks. We got caught almost immediately. I don't know where it's at. I don't know if it's safe to leave. But we have to now. Nope. Oh, we are so dead, aren't we? Oh, there's no way it doesn't see us here. Yep, run away! Oh, fuck me. We got caught almost immediately. I don't want to look- oh god, it's right behind us. Whew. Are we safe? Oh, there it is. Oh, please leave us alone. Oh, God. Are we safe? We have to go for it. Otherwise, we're going to panic. Down. Maybe I can use this dagger. Okay. It wants us to kill it, I'm pretty sure. Please leave. Oh, no, that didn't work. Okay, stab did not work. Stab was not a thing it let us do. Interesting. What the hell was that? Make a sauce? Yep. Maybe I can use this dagger. Whoop. What we use it for, I have no clue. Alright, there it is. Get out of here, you nasty little thing. No one asked for this. Okay, I think it's gone. Oh, nope. chill in here a little bit longer. Oh, there it is. Please leave. Come on, leave. We have a lot longer on those panic attacks than we thought, though. I can't even touch it. Okay. Run away! Okay. So we have to use the daggers for something. Maybe we stab the painting? leaves us alone.
something we can interact with here. Lantern oil. This music is so intense right now. Alright. I'm gonna make my way to the painting. Yeah, baby! Damn it. Uh, we're gonna need another one. Oh god, there it is. Uh, Alright, we're gonna cut across here, grab this dagger, and then hide. It is absolutely wild right now, Milk Dud. Uh, we, we've just gotten to our sort of first experience with this occult stuff. And I am absolutely terrified. I don't think he followed us here. I think we're gonna have to stab the painting. Oh fuck, where's he at? Oh, he's there. Uh, the streaming has been going great. We've been we've been bouncing between a few games, but our our the Humble Choice Bundle just released last week, so this week I'll be playing a lot of games from that for our next podcast episode. But it's been going really good. All right. Now let's make sure he's gone this time. Oh! Nope, still not gone. We might just be better off outrunning it and stabbing the painting as we go. Two dagger. down. One more to go. I have to use a specific dagger. Oh. Okay, maybe this one. Nope, okay. Oh gosh, and he got us. Well, now we've eliminated three of the possible daggers for it to be. This is probably the most terrifying part of this game. Is it's, it's one shot, one kill. There's no life or anything. What the hell was that? All right. Okay, so we know it's not this one. Let's try this one here. Maybe I can use this dagger. Oh, hi. Once he passes, we can give this one a shot. he'd be walking in the room right as we check. Damn it. This dagger didn't work. Well, there's only like 12 more options, so... Although we don't have to do quite as much hiding as we thought we had to in this fight. As long as we're quick. I have to use a specific dagger. Doesn't seem to be able to keep up with us, really. Uh, let's try this one next. This dagger looks different. Oh, and he's over there.
I don't know how we're gonna explain this to his wife. We broke open all of your da your your daggers and also stabbed your painting. What's the matter with you? You sure you won't be needing that hand? You're losing Shit. it, detective. At this rate, you're right. The bottle will get you before I do. You didn't see anything. I saw you within an inch of putting a dagger through your forearm. Did I miss something more interesting? Uh, yeah. The painting was cursed. I was attacked by a creature. I pushed it back, I think. I... I think so, too. Oh, gosh. You knew. You knew about the beast. What are you talking about? Think yourself lucky that I saved your hand, even if it was to save my goods. You mean me. Don't flatter yourself, sweetheart. I'm talking about the contents of this gallery. And by the way, where do you think you're going with that dagger? It saved my life. It's an extraordinary dagger. You should talk to Algernon Drake. He's an antique dealer here on Darkwater. He'll tell you all about it. From what I saw in the ledgers, it was him who sold it to Sanders. Okay. Can we keep it? <laughs> it's yeah. not your style to give me free information like that. Take it as payment for being my canary. A simple trade-off. Now go see your antique seller. I still got things to settle with Irene. Interesting. The Shambler turned out to be much more than an artwork painted by Sarah Hawkins, as a huge creature came out of the painting to attack Pierce. After a hard fight, the detective managed to send it back to the painting. He later discovered that the dagger he used to repel the creature had been sold to Sanders by a na man named Algeron, Algern, Algernon Drake, owner of the Nameless Bookstore. Pierce decides to pay the library a visit. Alright, let's do this. Let's see what Algernon has to say about it. If he's alive, holy shit. This town is just getting more and more twisted every single mission. Alright. Where is the bookseller? Alright. There's going to be more spooky shit, I'm Voids, sure of it. the interpretation of dreams. It's the work that laid the foundations of psychoanalysis at the beginning of this century. Yup. It is. Everyone wants to fuck their mom, and that's how we can explain all mental illness. It's such a very good way to boil down complex intricacies of medicine and science. A Puritan colony led by the Reverend John Wickwood settled on the island during the 17th century. They named the island Darkwater because of the dark shades of the sea. They believed it was because of a peculiar color of the rocks surrounding the island. They erected the first buildings, among which were the Hawkins Manor, the church, and the cemetery. The rare documents and handwritten notes they left spoke of nightmares and deviant behaviors. They disappeared at the beginning of the 18th century. It, it seems like clearly the whole town knows about this sort of a cold. The Book of Zion yes. is the foundational work behind Helena Blavatsky's theosophical movement. Its followers place truth on the same footing as a religion. Huh. I have never heard of this work before. But that's very interesting. The center of theosophy would have drawn extensively on the texts of this work, but no one has ever been able to consult them. I thought they didn't exist. This book discovered in the nameless bookstore on Darkwater could be as much a fake as irre irrefutable proof of Blavatsky's sincerity. 
Huh. Blavatsky. I'm gonna have to remember that name. Uh, do we read another creepy Necronomicon book? Yeah. What does this Let's go insane. Book Let's do it. This book contains unholy knowledge. A, the collection catalogs the cla and classifies creatures that have never been heard of. Yep. The d divinities from the stars, creatures capable of traveling from one dimension to another. It presents itself as if a reference work on the bestiary of myth without giving details on the mythology to which it refers. Handwritten book on anatomy. As precise and illustrated with as much detail as the first volume. Bodies do body stuff. In the 19th century, as the American whaling industry reached its peak in the rest of the world, whales gradually disappeared from the waters surrounding dark water. This phenomenon appears even more mysterious because up until then, the re region was favored refuge for Cetaceans. In 1847, after months of pursuit, Cilia returns to the port with a gigantic creature on board. Its crew asserts that the sea monster had eaten all the disappeared whales. After a night of ferocious combat, the survivors managed to dry drag the beast onto the ship. An active game of chess is going. Okay. What happened here? There's been a struggle. Into the homes view. Let's start over. Where did they blood? Seems like amateur work. Mm -hmm. It's very careless. It seems sort of 101 not to get blood on someone it. Someone tall left this footprint. A man, probably. How can you tell the height of someone based on their footprint? I mean, you can tell it's not a child, but I don't think you could tell the difference between a, like a 5'8 and a 6'3 person based on their footprint alone, right? Um, medicine. No sign of struggle. If the burglar smashed this jar, it wasn't intentionally. Was he hurt then? And then stepped on the glass and bled everywhere. Let's go check the chess room. Nope, we can't. Alright. Uh, spooky painting. What sort of thief leaves his tools at the crime scene? One that looks at a painting and what goes insane. What killed all these animals? What happened that made the burglar flee before finishing his work? Alright. That's the symbol that, uh... What the... Charles that Sanders was drawing all over what the fuck his room what's happening to Hawkins was this Hawkins what sort of power did Sarah Hawkins painting possess okay they locked something away in here Sarah Hawkins helped hide something in this safe. Well, maybe we should get into it. Drake put in a great deal of effort to hide whatever is in here. Everything is linked to the Sarah Hawkins case. Because Sarah Hawkins had the Necronomicon. And now we have to break into the safe. Yep. Drake left instructions on how to find the combination of his safe. A page seems to be hidden here. It is possi possible to read. If somebody finds these memoirs, there will be no doubt that I am in serious trouble. My last and only hope is that my body and bones are still in this plane of reality in order that they may be recovered and burned. Jesus! What a thing to drop in a little note. The funeral urn must be given to my dear mother if she is still of this world. The following message is of capital importance. Whoever reads these lines and demonstrates acuity as sharp as mine can hope to gain access to my most precious possession. 
that lies within my safe and the clues to the combination are to be found in three cylinders, each hidden where life and study combine in the Greek world. Each cylinder is numbered, even if, as the celebrated author says, order is the pleasure of reason, but disorder is the delight of the imagination. Indeed, despite my preference for organized chaos, I must admit the reason usually prevails in the end. If by chance a person, or should I say a genius, was to match my intellect and find the combination to my safe, I would ask that they deliver its contents into safekeeping of my friend and colleague Professor Armitage of Miskatonic University. The contents of this safe is not only a vast digest of knowledge, but also a weapon that is far too dangerous to fall into the wrong hands. I hope that you will be able to appreciate the danger that this represents and that you will act accordingly. In any event, I will neither be there to guide you nor to suffer from your actions. Okay. Order is the pleasure of reason, but disorder is the delight of imagination. Uh, all right can be found in three cylinders, each hidden where life and study combine in the Greek world. Alright. Well, now we need to find where life and study combine in the Greek world. Is everyone on this island taking sleeping pills? Everyone is taking sleeping pills. Of course they are. What link did he find between Charles Hawkins and an old amulet? The key of Rahel Files. This key that bears the Elder Sign is the only one able to protect your psyche. It is in the form of a cylindrical medallion hanging at the end of a heavy chain. Hundreds of years ago, the stars and the branch whose purpose is to push back, and fo back the forces of the Great Old Ones were engraved at its center. Everything points, it to it be points to it being Charles Hawkins that tore it from its last owner, an Egyptian... Oh, there's finally something written on the back. An Egyptian antique dealer. In press cuttings that mention this misdemeanor, the date of the robbery coincides with the last of Hawkins' trips to Cario. It remains to be seen whether he knows of the true purpose of the artifact. Try and find it. All right. Oh, gosh, there's so much to interact with now. Huh. Arkham editions. Never heard of them. Okay. A collection of poems by Edward Pickman Derby, also known as the Nightmare Lay Lyrics. This collection of poems was sensationally received when it was first published in 1908. Derby was only 19 years old. How many volumes are there in this collection? Okay, we're... All right. Another volume. We're going to have to know editions. which volumes are the ones... Arkham editions. The Key of Solemn. How many volumes are there? In the Prophecies. Another volume by Arkham Editions. Massa de Requiem. Uh, all right. What else? There's Arkham more over editions. here. Never heard of them. How many volumes are there in this collection? Another volume Things by Arkham Editions. Things that should not be. That's an interesting one. Is it? Are those just the? Are those the only ones we have to deal with? Okay, we have oil. Think. Things are chest not board. looking good. Um. Yeah, they aren't. That king is basically caught. Is he in checkmate there? Yeah. Yeah. Looks like it. A kind of chalice. Okay. Made of gold. This is interesting. We have a chessboard, we have a goblet. Another volume of the Reverend's Wife's Diary. Okay. This is so weird that so much became interactable after that. We know the Arkham volumes are going to be how we get the code. Uh, it's just going to be figuring out which ones are the right ones. Cylinders that Drake tried to hide. Oh. I should perhaps listen to them. Okay, there's the cylinders. Uh, how do we listen to cylinders? Have we figured that out? Have we done that before? Pierce. 
Uh, we do have 8 CP. We can't put up any points in those. Let's... Sh yeah, let's cap out our spot hidden. And then... Maybe psychology next? That's fine, though. Alright. Sanity. Have we lost any? Okay. Clues. Inventory. Aha. Uh, we didn't listen to that cylinder in the last one. Well, that sucks. I'm not sure where exactly we listen to cylinders at or how. Is there a player somewhere that we have to directly put them in? Like in game, is this diegetic or is this something we're missing in the menu? Submenus? No. Hmm. It's got to be diegetic. There's got to be a player we stick it in, right? A strange amulet. Ooh. I have a feeling I'd better not touch it. Well, I, I have a feeling you're going to pick it up anyways, aren't you? Yeah. All right. Where do we listen to the sweet, sweet sounds of music at? Oh. More medicine. Or oil. Aha, here it is. Uh, let us listen. And these red rocks, like precious stones, lie fixed, set in divine gold. To be the guardian of the grail does not protect me from its attractions, Henry. And I do confess it. I am willing to pay to know its secrets. Being the guardian of the grail. Is there a holy Arthur grail? Editions. How many volumes are there in this collection? Or another King volume Arthur. by Arkham Editions. Arkham Editions. How many volumes are there in this collection? Another volume by Arkham Editions. Um, oh, maybe I actually have to read these. Arkham Editions. Uh, King Solomon. Never heard of him. How many volumes are there in this collection? Uh, philosophy. Theosophical movement. Another volume by Arkham Editions. The Editions. legendary King Solomon contains various rituals. Oh, Arkham Editions. Is that two King Solomons? Never heard of them. No. How many volumes are there in this collection? And known as the Nightmare Lyrics, this collection was a poem. Ar Arkham Editions. Never heard of Another them. Another volume <laughs> by Arkham Editions. Yeah, get used to it. We're going to be going through a lot of Arkham Editions. Never heard of them. Uh, Riot left several dead. Arkham Editions. Arkham Editions. Never heard of them. Long-term astrological predictions. How many volumes are there in this collection? Urban legends and American folklore lore. Another volume by Arkham Editions. That's the editions. same one. Ar Another Arkham volume editions. by Arkham Editions. Never heard of them. Uh, controlled by mothers of this people. And moreover, the alphabet was derived from a Corinthian language. How many volumes are there in this collection? Hmm. How many volumes are there in this collection? The Chalice of Knowledge. He said something about being the guardian of the chalice, but do the rubies and sapphires make up a spe specific motif? Uh, I don't think so. Huh. All right. Well, let's listen to the others and see. Uh, w and S to navigate. Oh, there we go. That's weird. I finally understood that we were only pieces on the chessboard of the gods. Let those of us who are still standing protect our white queen from their dark soldiers. Okay. I see our number dwindling, and my will strengthens as my apprehension grows. We shall refuse to be the playthings of destiny. Okay, so one of them is the chessboard. Uh, probably the white pieces remain. Queen has one, two, protection. three, four pieces left. Red drops, so probably count the rubies. Divine gold. To be the guardian of the grail does not protect me from its attractions, Henry. 
And I do confess it. I am willing to pay to know its secrets. All Dear right. friend, I thank you again for the and anthology then... of the works of Arkham Editions that you sent me. Arkham Editions? Uh, volume 9, Azathoth and Other Horrors, seemed particularly relevant to my research. Volume 9. I never tire of browsing through them. Azatoth and Other Horrors. Volume 9. Drake talked about a particular... So these are the volumes that Drake was talking about in his message. What did Drake say about this collection? Drake talked about a particular... Oh gosh, volume. at least we've changed so the dialogue these are the now. the volumes that Drake was talking about. In what did Drake say about this Eight. collection? Drake talked about a particular... So these are the volumes that Drake uh, that's was talking nine. about All right, this is message. nine. Uh, Derby was only 18 years old. That number seems significant. I'm going to guess 18 is what we need from that. Unless there's like something... What did Drake say on the about book this somewhere. collection? No, okay. All right. Oh, sorry. All right. Uh, so of chalice knowledge. of knowledge. We're going to start at this crack because that's the easiest spot. One, two, three, four, five total rubies. Five rubies, four white pieces, and 18 was the guy's birthday so we want five four uh oh there is no 18 we have one through nine all right let's take a look at this again Drake talked about I mean, maybe it's just point. nine. That seems very simple if, if he actually announces the number inside the thing. But let's try it, right? No, that was wrong. Um, let's see. Clues. No. We want inventory. The clues to the combination are found in three cylinders. Each cylinder is numbered, even if, as the celebrate author says, order is the pleasure of reason, but disorder is the delight of imagination. Indeed, despite my preference for organized chaos, I must admit that reason usually prevails in the end. So it's going to be order one, two, three, it sounds like. If. Hmm. So are we missing something? The queen has little protection. The queen has two knights and a rook left. Does that mean anything significant? Maybe three is our number then? Yeah, got it. Got it in two, baby. We are the aforementioned geniuses in his letter. Here it comes. Now we're going to get into some real darkness. We're in a world outside of worlds. Okay, that was wild. Oh, we're back in the Institute. Jesus, all right. His mind was projected into another body? 
They don't tell us that. What the fuck? Okay. Who are we going to be now? Who's we're in the institute. It's not going to make us fueler, right? There's no way. Probably just some random patient. But that feels very... But we haven't been introduced to anyone else that I think it would be. I highly doubt they'd make us play as Fueler. Maybe the other doctor? Hmm. Perhaps I just wait for it to load instead of speculating. I do like that Hawken or that all of the the complex puzzles were literally just counting. It was just like can you listen to two clues and count? These weren't no secret world puzzles. Dr. Colden, this man's condition is deteriorating. We're Dr. Colden. What's okay. What's Dr. Fuller? It's his patient after all. He, he's busy with Captain <laughs> Fitzroy. He specifically asked us Cthulhu not to so smart. Cthulhu no math. I'll see what I can do. Mr. Blake, can you hear the me? The madness that's I'm unlocked Dr. inside Corbin. your brain when you figure out two There's plus two equals do. four. I tried talking to him. He's catatonic. He's not a cat. He's a human. Did you inject him with a tranquilizer? No, doctor. Not me, not anyone. I need to get a, a rim shot soundboard on this. Again. I'll, I'll set but that up for next for the stream. Whole island. More and more people are suffering from insomnia. We can't refuse to help. Of course. Any idea what this man might be undergoing? I haven't looked at him yet. How would I know? What can you tell me about him? He was highly <laughs> agitated an hour ago. Yeah, I really need to get to one set up. When he fell asleep. That's Ten that's going to be the bread and butter, right? A fetal position. I thought he was waking up, but no. Uh, once we unlock bits and emojis too, we're going to have we're definitely going to have one to purchase me doing really bad juggling. Uh, I must see Show his medical file. That that's not possible. Don't tell me Dr. Fuller has taken this file as well. We need it. That's why I called you. This man's ailment has been hidden from us. Come on now. What was he treated for? An intoxication, I was told. After inhaling chemicals. Okay. What are his symptoms? His temperature has been going down. His skin losing its color. His body rigid. That sounds I like death. his eyes myself. They were glassing over. Those sound like all the symptoms of out, dead. And I couldn't bear to look at the expression on his face. I well. have Don't officially worry. diagnosed him Let's with death. Let's professional, if you will. I don't recognize him. Did he just arrive on the island? He said he worked on the docks, but not with Captain Fitzroy. I think he works for Ms. Baker. Who? You know, the woman at the head of their gang. They call her Cat. Oh. I see. All right. Do all right. you have other questions? That's all we need to know. Let's look at the body. That'll do for the time being. Any idea what this man might be undergoing? We're going to check. Examine. Well. I'll examine him. 30 year old subject. Severe hypothermia. Well, we figured it Arithemitis out. Solved the case. Around the eyes and eardrums. Necrosed palupal tissue. Lord, this smell. Why does medical terms have to be so needlessly complex, right? Why can't they just call it, like, purple face? He's got purple face. His skin shows abnormal loss of color and seems dried out. The Alexa seems to agree. He's totally dehydrated. His fingertips and toes seem to feature a slight ring under the skin. Tender at the touch. Slightly sticky. I need to know whatever this ailment is, because my fingers are always sticky, so if there is a solution... Severe malnutrition. Swollen abdomen with traces of petechia. Oh, 
Like, what is petechia? It doesn't seem like an edema. I don't know this word. Slight protuberances seem to indicate the presence who, of a foreign body. Who is body. this targeted for? So, doctor, an opinion? I'm not sure I have the necessary knowledge to treat this man. Don't say that. You're our most worthy doctor after Dr. Fuller. Some of his symptoms are beyond my comprehension. What did you find? He's got demons inside him. Uh, he has something in his belly. Is probably a really did you good. Examine his abdomen. It would seem there's something inside. He hasn't eaten in days. Are you certain it's not an edema? No. Can't you recognize an edema? Pushing with your finger won't leave a trace. And look at these bumps. Well, now I've learned how to recognize an edema. It's not like he could be pregnant. Whatever it is, this man has something inside him that shouldn't be there. We should operate on him at once. <laughs> it's all Dr. those spaghetti Fuller carbs. Said not to worry, that the edema would go away by itself. You know, I'm not sure Dr. Fuller is telling the truth. All right. Uh, In his spite limbs of the are muscle worrisome. contractions, his arms seem limp. Yes. They can't have decalcified, not at this rate. And yet, if there is a bone in this arm, it's softer than that of a newborn baby. What about his cranium? It's soft at the touch. It does seem like the skull of a baby. Look at these sticky rings growing at his fingertips. What can be happening? I'm sure you'll find an explanation. You have to. The man's got a demon inside him. I see signs of hypodermoclysis, but he's still dehydrated. When was his last IV? He's constantly under perfusion. I've even gone beyond the recommended dose to no avail. And you won't believe me, but... When we bathed him earlier... He seemed to feel better? Yes. Like he needs an aquarium, not a perfusion. So stick him back but in the tub! doesn't explain his condition. I almost don't believe it myself, but these symptoms are not those usually associated with the human species. What do you mean? Don't tell me you believe in extraterrestrials. No. This poor man is from our world, all right. But his body is undergoing unnatural mutations. I feel like it would take any doctor way key. longer than that to come with a, up to, with this conclusion in our world. Like... Such an infection. They're not going to look at this and go, he's mutating. It's, it's going to be the whole house syndrome where they're like, ah, it must be mono for like three weeks. And then finally they diagnose him with some weird disease from the one time he went to like Venezuela on a company picnic or some shit. Provide him with the best available care. Your imagination is without limit. It's your homemade drug again, is it not? Those people are not your guinea pigs. There, there. What have you seen to put you in such a state? This man is awful. Uh, I feel like this is coming out the gate way too hard, so we're going to say his I've never seen anything limbs, like this. His body temperature? I don't know what experiments you've undertaken, but this is going too far. Oh. I sense some excitement beneath your indignation. Could it be you wish to join me no. in my scientific endeavors? No, we don't. You are a brilliant physician, Dr. Fuller, but this man... This man has the attributes of... some kind of animal. Fascinating. An animal, you say? Could you be more precise? Cephalopod, perhaps? <sighs> this amuses you. Your reaction does. I know your thirst for knowledge, Doctor. You're it's not your bringing me on board. It's for this man that have you overreacting. For this man and the others whose medical files you've been hiding. I have to protect my discovery. These people owe me their life, but the world isn't ready yet. It will be. I don't know time. about that. I don't know if the world will, will ever be do this. ready for you, you bringing creatures Marie, from the deep into people's bodies. I still have hope you'll bodies. one day share my point of view. In the meantime, take care of your own patients and try not to forget who you're dealing with. What an undermining threat. Was that a threat? Yeah, what it was. What did he mean? It was a warning. 
Dr. Fuller is this institution's founder and one of our profession's most influential voices. My word is of no weight against his. If I continue to protest, I will only ruin my reputation and career. It's scandalous. Can't we do anything? Is there no evidence of his crimes? Oh, I'm sure there's tons of evidence that he's covering up very well. Oh, that evidence exists. I'm sure of it. I need to find the missing medical files. And where would you find those? We're going on a stealth mission office. to get files. What if you get caught? I'd rather not. To bring this that. asshole down. I'm counting on your discretion. Of course, Doctor. You can count on me. I'll keep Mum. That's another good old tiny word that we should bring back. Mum? An like... unknown medicine. Judging by the other ones, it causes heavy side effects. Mum is such a good way to say, like, keep keep a closed lid on it, you know? This place draws you in and never lets you go. All right. Chronic insomnia. Like half the island. Everyone's got insomnia. I bet these sleeping pills aren't just sleeping pills, right? Like, this is how he's bringing them in. Locked? Nope. Okay. The answers must be hidden in Fuller's office. Oh, this there's a lot to explore in here. No, you're pulling my leg. I'm not joking. Ladies. I saw the schedule. She's alone in the bathroom again. And she still says nothing to that old witch, Donovan. Oh, look. The doses prescribed by Fuller are far too high. Listen to the way mm. you talk, you naughty girl. You naughty girl. <laughs> and the right, answer is right. no. Good imagine. We've been waiting to be restocked for weeks. Because we don't need drugs. Oh, well, we have fucking we dark have magic. And just wait to see the next time the water this is the men's Everybody bathroom. I bet they won't let me in there, will they? Oh, pet. they will. I didn't make this up. Oh, I guess I'm a nerd. Like, I'm a doctor. I can do whatever. <laughs> it's temperamental, if I understand correctly. Okay. That'll be to create a diversion, it looks like. Nothing else in here. This is a sketchy closet. Not even a closet. What even is this room? Just a room of nothingness. There's administration. I'm not sure where his office is gonna be. Ah, oh, the boiler room. I it's don't locked. have any business in the boiler room. Not yet. But once you need a distraction, you will. The reference book of medical sciences. It's like a dictionary, but for medical sciences. This is going to be another area that once we probably go through his room, it's going to trigger this. I have little this. time for you, doctor. You'll find out that it's not up. Wait a minute. Where do you think you're going? Oh, there it is. She won't let us in there. Sorry, Miss Donovan. Mrs. Donovan. Nobody goes into Dr. Fuller's office. But rest assured, I'll tell him you came by. That won't be necessary. Thank you. I will tell him, nonetheless. Jesus. Okay. Alright, that's his office. Surgical ward. The I operating no room is never there. accessible after an operation. This man, Edward Pierce... His file is incomplete. Detail what and treatment is not him? given. All right. Dr. Colden, we need you at once in dormitory B. What's in dormitory B? What is the problem? Mr. Evans seems to be having trouble with his IV. I'll see you right. right away. And the family of Mrs. Harding is asking to see her medical file. I'll never understand why it's so hard to see <sighs> patients' files around here. We'll get them. Rules are rules. See, with Dr. Fuller, he's in charge. Anyhow, they're still waiting, and I don't think they'll leave until they get what they want. We'll get it. Understood. Don't worry. Anything else? As a matter of fact, yes. A man has been brought up from the basement. Oh. What state is he in now? 
You should go see for yourself, Doctor. Oof. I take it as that state is probably almost the key dead. The boiler room is missing. Dr. Fuller always keeps his key with him. Okay. Where's the key to the boiler room? Sorry, but nobody can take anything until I finish the inventory. Oh, okay. Please, the fewer interruptions there are, the faster I'll be finished. It's so interesting. Everyone on this island ha has an entirely different accent. There's very little consistency to it. I don't get why they have us waiting so long. Almost no Where patience. did my fiancé go? I hope those nutcases will stop burdening her with work. Hello, Bradley. Ethan. Marie, I... What are you doing here? I'm waiting for my medication, of course. Why? Uh... Should I prescribe him something? I mean, our psychology's pretty high. You're a bad liar. You're not here for treatment, right? Am I so obvious? Yeah. <laughs> Only to me. I know you worry about me. I trust you. I'm happy to see you. Me too, Ethan. I... I well, would feel like, I mean... There might be something else. <laughs> it's a really much interesting much. thing. Uh, I, it, it harkens I me back to learning about... Uh, keep me awake. Every night. The migratory species stupid, of of animals on islands in Actually, uh, in one. environmental science class no. I took, and that idea of no it, ever seen the if I the see. island is developed, like you mad. get a more varied like set of species because more of them migrate, like they migrate to the island to replace ones that have died off, and so it's that idea of that like I, I don't know how that ties into humans, and if there's uh, if there's with any sort of reality days, to that with like humans no and the demographic of humans that live on an island Maybe. versus Everyone in animals too, if migraine. that makes sense. Really? We don't have any medication left. Oh. There's no but that would be my guess is because islands aren't like... Work. Take care, Ethan. I, I'd assume it's, it's accurate movie. to some extent because they're not like set burrows. You get instead you get a lot of immigrants from other burrows and stuff. That There's my no way guess would be what Fuller is you do find a more very like a, a wider variation of accents and stuff. It's a quiet little town. Days go by, steady as ever. I wanted more for myself. Doctor Colden. You got nothing for me, nurse. I, I can't remember I help you? exactly what the theory, the, the migratory species Hardy. theory was called, but, came in with a kidney problem, but we I, I'd be very curious since. if there's correlation I'm to that sorry. and Dr. sort of Burr humans' migratory patterns. Man. Well, is there anyone else who can tell us what's going on? She's our only family, you know? And we can't even see her medical file. I'll Don't examine worry. her myself. I'm aware our institution is not always welcoming, but your mother is in good hands. I'll tend to her myself. And keep you informed at once. Would that suit you? Well, that sure sounds great to us, Doctor. Thank you. But those are just words, so we're not budging. That's totally Very well. fair. At least I'll know where to find you. The kitchen. We'll bring them some soup to fill their bellies. Patients and hospital personnel eat the same food. That sounded like she was just discovering or realizing that. Watch out for the water, Doctor. You got a leak there, bud. All right. Um, we've explored most of that. The answers must be we hidden. Can't get into office. there. So we just have this one little area left. Hay fever. What's he doing here? Hay fever? Doctor, please. Uh, my chest. Oh. His perfusion of a semi-physiological solution doesn't seem to work. He's undergoing a ventricular fibrillation. What does that even mean? I don't understand these words and I feel so helpless. Nurse? 
Deborah, come and help me, please. His potassium level is too high. Replace it with 2% glucose solution with insulin, calcium, and sodium bicarbonate. I'll tend to it right away. What is that even? Thank you. He's How do you even hands. know that? Doctors are so smart. I feel like you'd need blood work for that, though, honestly. Dr. Colden? I, I feel like we portray doctors as just like this wealth of scientific Why knowledge. Why tell me about her admission? File describes which Irene Sanders... Oh, shit. Irene Sanders is in the Institute? Bueller added a handwritten note. He recommended taking her down to the ward. Oh, gosh. He broke his back in an accident down by the docks. Ah, the whaling station. What's wrong with me? What are you talking about? Ah, uh, doctor, is that you? Yes, it's Dr. Colden. Tell me what happened. It's the old whaling station. See? Yeah, we know that. What happened there? What did you see there? Nothing. Nothing at all. The floor was all rotten and I fell straight through. And that's how you broke your back? Perhaps. No idea. Passed out. I'll just sleep a bit more. <laughs> just, just sleep off your broken back. That is uh, the Jake Zindorf method, uh, method of really oh, reviving your so broken back. Hiding. She's still sleeping. Given her file, a nephrectomy would have been inevitable. But Fuller was able to save her kidney. What is the boiler room key doing here? Well, we're going to take it, aren't we? The key to the boiler room. Oh, Not nope. where I expected to find we're it. We're just going to acknowledge that it's there. We won't actually pick it up. Okay. Intoxication from breathing organic vapors. Um, yeah, let's check her out, I guess. We'll see. Mrs. Sanders? God, she's like a doll now. Like, totally comatose. That's so creepy. We just talked to her. Another insomniac. I should find the cause for such a widespread trouble. There's no one in that bed. Good to know all the beds aren't full here. Dr. Colden, here you are at last. This patient was again brought up to the psychiatric wing. We've been following the treatment you prescribed, but the dyskusia persists and he's lost a great deal of weight. We haven't been able to move him. The stress makes him hyperallergic. Sir, I am going to examine you. Do you understand? Inject him with a dose of pentobarbital, intramuscular, so that I can conduct the clinical examination. Those aren't words. These aren't words. He his lips so much, they're still bleeding. White froth. Evidently because of such drooling. Okay, so the man is frothy, like a frappuccino. I know that one. Froth is easy. I've got froth down. His binds left bloody wounds. So, doctor, what should we do with this patient? Uh... Patient Those has been mistreated. tied him up too tight, and now he's hurt. I keep trying to heal his wounds, but he reopens them. Do you have a diploma as a nurse? Excuse me? Oh, so fuck. Take care of this man. <laughs> She's just throwing shade at the nurses now. Jesus. Like, do your fucking job and heal him. All right. So we have to get to Fueler's office now. We can't use the boiler room keys. I mean, maybe if I interact with the boiler room again, it'll give me the option now. The door to the boiler room is locked. No. Let's hope I can go through the administration office. You cannot, because Donovan is in here. How do I distract Donovan? I have Donovan? little time for you, Doctor. You'll find out that it's not only the Doctor. God, she is so underhanded. Like, it's not only the doctors that have things to do. Hat. Like, we get it. It's temperamental, I up. if I understand correctly. The nurses work as well. No one is questioning that. It's so unfair. Hmm. Let's try to pick up the boiler room key again. Dr. Colden? The key to the boiler room. No. Not where I expected to find it. Okay. So how do we distract her? 
Bradley, can you make a distraction for us? Is everything all right, Ethan? Yeah, I just... I know I should go. I will work until late. Oh. All right. Aww. I don't get why they have us waiting so long. Almost no patience. <laughs> the only one with no patience is you. The operating room is See, this is where we need the rim shot. Wait a minute. Where do you think you're going? Oh, we don't care. We know we can't be in there. Doc, Mrs. Nobody could rest there. I Ugh. How do we get you away? I feel like the answer lies in the boiler room. But we can't get the in there. The door to the boiler room is locked. Hmm. We're running out of this medicine. Okay, here we go. Doctor. We sent the purchase order, though, but Mrs. Donovan refused it. Oh, that sounds like a way Once to distract again. Donovan. Can't you do anything? Donovan takes her instructions directly from Dr. Fuller. I'm afraid I can do nothing about it for the moment. Hmm. You can go yell at her. Be like, Ayo, Donovan, restock the medicine. So, Doctor, have you oh, been able okay. to examine our mother? Uh, I saw her remind me Pardon of her case. Me, but could you remind me what her case is? We're waiting on news regarding our mother, Maureen Harding. Maureen Harding. She came Harding. in with a kidney problem, but we haven't heard oh, anything Oh, she's since. here. She's good. She's Gucci. I just saw her. I've tended to her, and I have good news. Her blood analysis is reassuring. Her kidneys are as new. Are you talking about the same person? This is miraculous. She's still recovering, but you may speak to her upon her awakening. Oh, thank you so much, Doctor. We'll wait for her to wake up. We've been here since this morning. So <laughs> I just got <laughs> an achievement called the Hippocratic Oath. Oopsies. Thank you again, <laughs> I, I, they really wanted to call out that I should not be spilling Dr. confidential Colleen? information to strangers in a hallway. Which is totally fair. I probably should have put a little more thought in that before just letting them know. The key to the boiler room. Not where I expected to find it. I'll just sleep a... Okay. How? What do I do next, then? I feel like... Picking up the key to the boiler room is the answers must be hidden in Fuller's office. The next logical She's a step. Witch. Elizabeth, you all right? Okay, here we go. Why is this room in such a state? Because, as always, I'm cleaning it by myself, and the water was once again shut off this morning. I had to bother Mrs. Donovan again, giving her a new excuse to belittle me. Miss Donovan is just a dick. Do you really need Mrs. Donovan to open a valve? Why not ask the janitor? I can't make these decisions without her approval. Imagine if there were a leak. Anyhow, the boiler room is locked half the time. So every time the water gets shut off, I have to go and endure her reproach until she's settled the problem. I see. Well, we'll resolve Courage, it for you. Elizabeth. Thank you, Doctor. Now we have an excuse to cut off the water. Boom. The key to the boiler room. We just had to find the right sequence of events. All I have to events. do is shut off the water and hope Donovan takes the bait. Oh, she'll take the bait. She seems pretentious. Don't go falling over. That would be stupid. She gonna come out like, who turned the temperature up on the AC? That's gonna raise our bill by three cents this year. All right. <clears throat> Crank that water. Oh. I can't shut this with my bare hands. I need a tool. I feel like bare hands would be able to spin it. See, we need, ugh, we need the rim shot soundboard. We're going to have it. We're going to have it for next stream. I promise. And then you can endure all of my terrible puns and bad jokes. <laughs> Thank you, Hunter. <laughs> Uh, I do need a tool for this. 
I feel like a broom would be able to do it, but she's not thinking very hard about this, is she? Or too hard about this. Dr. Colden? What tool do I need? And where have I seen some tools? I have not seen any frat boys in this yet, so that tool is out of the question. The answers must be hidden in Fuller's office. She's a witch to the world heck. I didn't make this up. And I'm the one who pays. What a pest. Yeah, it's she so is unfair. kind of an old hag. Oh, maybe in this weird, shady, empty room that has served no purpose? Nope. Hmm. Well, there's a record player thingy. There's so many tools here. How are none of these the... Let's go talk to the janitor. That's going to be what it is. Oh, he's gone. Did he leave a tool in here? Yes, he did. Okay, we don't need bear hands. We need monkey hands. All right. I feel guilty about Elizabeth, but I need the diversion. Oof, we've just baited her into it. Okay, now we go back to Elizabeth, and then Donovan's gonna go over there and scold her about turning the water on. Aw, that's so messed up. I'm sorry, Elizabeth. It's temperamental, if I understand. Dr. Colden, might there be a problem with the water? I was about to mention it. It seems it's been cut off yet again. I can't take this, Marie. I feel I'm gonna burst. It's not your fault if we have defective plumbing. Oh and gosh. Yet I'm the one who gets punished because I'm gonna have to square off with that annoying old witch. You've got this. Courage. Be Rose. our diversion. Here we go. And hold your tongue this time. Okay, she's gone. Where are they squaring off at? Who cares? That's not Last, our problem. The we got files to find. The Stendhal syndrome. Of course. A this rare is mental Fuller illness. found his diagnosis for Francis Sanders. Okay. So he's he's reading books to pull up like obscure diagnoses that like no one will question. When in reality, the only diagnosis is Cthulian Something monster. Something is wrong with these masts. It's some sort of puzzle. What? That's so Why would you have such a weird elaborate Okay. I've unlocked there we go. That was very easy. Patient. The Hawkins interview. There's our cylinder. And files. I was right. Okay. Uh, what else are we missing? In here, maybe? Okay, just wants us to listen to it real quick. Conclusions? Session number 17. Patient, Sarah Hawkins. All the right. Appears to be finally accepted this finger belonged to a woman. Why keep it here? Why does he have a woman's finger in a jar on a shelf? That's so weird. There's never, ever, ever been an innocent or decent person that has kept an appendage of another human being in a jar on a shelf. Never. Why is Ethan on medication? Because he's turning himself into an old god. Why does Dr. Fuller write psychological reports about Sarah Hawkins? At first, I presumed that her blood was emptying. Okay. But so, I found nothing to explain Mrs. Hawkins' abilities. And how that she can see the, the extraterrestrial beings. The poor souls downstairs are not Fuller's only subjects. No, they are not. And... Wait, I'm right. The charge was keeping secrets from them. 
James and Charles. All right. Eventually, I'm going to acknowledge that there's a shoe in his drawer as well. That's more normal. I do have shoes of... I have, I have old women's shoes in my drawers as well. That That is a much more normal and explainable thing. But we draw the line at fingers. Hawkins, Fitzroy, and Fuller. What is the connection between these three? They all know the things in the deep. When all the fuss about the Hawkins incident finally comes to an end, I will dispose of her belongings. Okay. So that's Hawkins' body. Like her shoe in your drawer. You nasty little pervert. Of course. Sarah Hawkins is the connection. Yep. I must go back to the basement. Okay, we can't get in there still. I uh, should go another way. Probably can't walk out the front door, yeah. I think we're getting close to gonna have to hide territory soon. But I don't think we're quite there yet. Uh, I do like that's really good sound design that the 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 shoes of this character make a different impact than the shoes of my other character did on metal it, it sounds like I'm wearing heels which I can't confirm because I can't see my feetsies but I would assume given the era and the misogyny she is probably wearing heels okay uh, can we just go through this one? Hello, Doctor. I'm back in the basement. Ah, now that's the Marie that I know. I knew I could count on your scientific curiosity. It's time to show you what you were so eager to discover. Oh, fuck! Oh, I shouldn't have gone through that door. I messed up. And now I have a gun. If you're gonna shoot. Oh no, someone else has a gun pointed at me. At least have the decency to look me in the eyes. Turn around. Slowly. This is the crazy guy at the bar. Talk, filthy thief. Oh, I swear I'll shoot. All right. Uh, you're not a killer. I don't have the eloquence. I don't have the strength. It Take was Charles Hawkins. Everything points to Charles Hawkins. He's dead. No. He was here for a very specific item. Your Necronomicon, oh, sir. No. The book. Why was it in the safe? Have you read it? Answer the question. How foolish of you. Now you won't be able to escape his will. What did it show you? Uh. Oh, I don't have enough for any of this. She went into Fuller's office. She was looking for Sarah Hawkins' corpse. Sarah Hawkins, you say? Let's go back to the start, shall we? Whose life did the Necronomicon choose to show you? Dr. Colden. She was at the Riverside Institute. She's in danger. I have to go. Wait. No one knows the occult better than me. You might need my help. I, I always forget that Lovecraft... Yeah, All we right. want your help, buddy. All right. Uh, that Lovecraft and the Necronomicon are, are one and the same. Let's meet later at the Hawkins Mansion. The Necronomicon has kind of taken on Rescue its own life beyond Lovecraft's Thank work, you, so it's really interesting to see it like directly associated with Lovecraft again. The book projected Pierce into the body of Dr. Colden. 
The detective watched helplessly as Bradley's friend carried out her inquiry. Confronted with the experiments of Fueller, she got into his office and discovered the director of Riverside Institute was hiding information on, if not the body of, Sarah Hawkins. But she was discovered by Fueller. Pierce must save her before it's too late. All right, I think we need... We can't put points in occult and medicine, which really sucks. We're just kind of stuck with those leveling up slowly. So maybe we just do psychology next and get that up as much as we can. So we hopefully don't run into as many failed prompts. A letter. I pray that Colin is really here and alive. All right. Wow, I like that we just kind of strolled in. The diary of Reverend Wickwood's wife. Her husband, John, built the first Hawkins home called Hilltop. An old diary. How old is Fuller, really? Oh, very old. We're going to find out that he's centuries old, I'm sure. Oh, yes, we're going to read your spooky books. Complete revelation. What is, what is that achievement for? I'm kind of spooked. Uh, reach the level of expert in a skill. No, that's detective. Uh, where are you at, complete revelation? What did we just get? I don't see it. Where are you? I want to know what this achievement was for. Probably reading all the spook books, but... Complete revelation. Read all the books of unholy knowledge. Yep. Okay. Oh, fuck. Why does it do that? I hate it. We leveled up our occult. But it's spooky. The Scylla is here. Like in the vision. Yep. Colden came this way. I, I like how we just like casually like Fuller too. Strolled up into this uh, office. Like she had to go through so much work to get in here. And we were just like, nah, we're going to teleport through right. the window. Enough time wasted. Colden needs me. I must find her. But I have a feeling... Uh, we're gonna find out that either we, like, shouldn't be here, or... That other people aren't happy with us being here. I mean, I feel like... Did I miss a brief moment in that cutscene with him, like, crawling through a window or something? Can't get in there. All right. Well, is that guy gonna see us if we sprint here? Nope. Okay. Okay. They're just funneling us straight here. Oh fuck. Yep. Fuck. Oh god damn it. I can't. Oh my where? god. What, what, what is the happening? What is happening? Okay, we're locked in this sort of. That's. That is why we couldn't... Okay. That's why there's hiding spots. What the what hell? It's as if I'd been transported somewhere else. It teleported me back. Okay. Gosh. 
This is terrifying. I know it's going to show up out of nowhere. Brick wall. Waterfall. Weird spooky thing you think you know it all. What oh happened? shit. Something has changed, but what? Okay, that's so weird. I picked up a lantern and it teleported me into a new world, it seems. I don't know if I failed exploring the other one enough. I might have missed some things. But I also don't know if everything is sort of the same in all these worlds. Uh, I'm going to have to go find more lanterns, aren't I? Well, we can't go that way. Can't go that way. shit all over this door now which makes me feel like we have to go this way but there's nothing in here hum de hum hum okay now this brought us back here so now that we've opened the door we can come in here yep and there's our thing I've seen this symbol. Awaken Interesting. What the fuck? The Leviathan. I forgot about this guy. Okay, now we can use our light to burn through weird doors. Um, okay. So switch lanterns. Where's the next lantern at? Oh, is it going to make me teleport through first? I have to do this, and then the lantern shows up? What the fuck? Where am I? Jesus. Okay. This is wild. This is so cool. Pretty sure I have to find another lantern. Yep, there it is. Okay. And then we can magically be teleported to a realm where we can open this door. Double check that there's nothing in here in this world. Grab the other lantern. And just keep juggling back and forth. For science! And then can we burn this? Nope. Fuck, fuck, fuck! Get us out of there. Okay, good. Well, we opened the door. There's a thing right there. Hmm. Nothing in there. this beast why are we panicking
That was weird. We just panicked and then it refilled our light. Hmm. None of these can be blasted. Where is it? Oh, here we go. Aha. And then we're going to we're going to do this and that'll give our lantern the ability to burn that one. It is trapped. Okay. And so we're going to juggle through and do this. Gotcha. Burn. Find the mystery door. Uh, and eventually, we're going to have to start dealing with this creepy guy. He's somewhere around. I think we fucked up. Yep, there it is. Okay, so we can't run out of lantern light. Gotcha. It feels like perhaps other than the lantern light, we don't really have much we're worried about. Like, I don't know if this guy physically exists in a realm that we're spooked for. Um, however, that's going up. And out, and over, and there. So we need to find the door to teleport us into there. Okay, it's not there. Oh, we can burn this one too. Haha. -ha. Oh fuck. Switch lights. I don't want it. I don't want the other one anymore. It's too spooky. Scary shit is happening. In that other world. And I don't want to be a part of it. This world, everything feels fine. I like it. It's comforting. However, I think we have to get through here with the in, in the other world. There doesn't appear to be any weird doors to open. All right, spook city, bitch. Spook, spook city, bitch. Here in the corner, my Alexa connecting back to my phone. Do we sneaky? Or do we just go aggressively and get it over with? Alright, aggressive feels like the play, honestly. You are confronting powers that surpass you. Or maybe the powers are confronting me! This, this light burning mechanic and sort of like alternate spook world transitioning with lights and stuff is, I think it's really cool. So spooky right now. Reference book of medical journals. Oh god, I'm almost out of light. Let's teleport. Teleport. Whoo! 
Swing around. Quick. Grab the other light. Oh. Okay. So this is how it works. Yeah, it really is a cool twist. I And so the further away we get from the light source, as ours drains, we, we run out of time, basically. So this last loop is going to be the hardest because we have to come loop all the way around, use a little bit of light to grab this, and then get out. But the last one should take us through both of our final doors. And that's the thing. There's no, like, fuel. The light is purely charged by this light over here this time. So now we grab it. And we sprint. This would be ten times harder, and I'm kind of disappointed uh, if the uh, weird tentacle boy was actually, like, roaming the halls in this moment, too. Oh, fuck, he is! Holy shit! Whew. Is it safe? <laughs> Holy fuck! I dead ass deserved that. Jesus Christ. I fucking challenged it. <laughs> My dumb ass is sitting here like, hey, what if the spooky thing was here? Of course it's gonna fucking show up when you say that, you idiot. All right, we're out of here. We're, we, we cut those off just in case we needed to get through there later, but we out of here. We done with this. I went back in the real world. It looks like things are back to normal. Oh, what a good jump scare. They give you so much time to get comfortable with that. I 100% I was not expecting that at all. All right. We're out. We're going to go save the doctor. <sighs> what the fuck? There's creepy singing. I don't want to play anymore. Holy fuck, these lyrics. What's going on? It never ends. saying I watch you sleep. I do love endless hallways. They are one of my favorite mechanics in anything. The mechanics, themes, ideas. I don't want to! <laughs> there's, there's gonna be darkness behind me. Okay, no. Uh, all right, maybe we run this way. Or maybe we interact with this. Damnation. That's... that's nope, me. now I'm inside. Oh, okay. No. I, gotta, I, gotta get out. I can't, there's no doors. I got, I don't, I don't know what, oh god, it's just gonna make me panic it out. That's what's gonna happen. Okay. Is that the doctor? Pierce, yep, okay. I found her. I finally know what's going on. You must live and find the truth. It is already too late for me. Colden? What's going on? 
I am just surrounded by darkness now. Please take a seat and be quiet, Mr. Pierce. I'll be with you in a moment. <laughs> Stop. Doing, <laughs> yeah, honestly, I don't know too much about what's going on right now either. We're we're still investigating the creepy town, but I do appreciate you swinging by and, and checking it out, 93. No, oh. you son of a bitch! What did you do to her? The creepy doctor here has been you, experimenting on everyone in town. <laughs> <laughs> I said, what did you do to her? You shouldn't be sorry for Banks, your friend, is Banks you preferable? Her. 93 does sound Murder. funny. <laughs> this madness must stop. We'll, we'll go with Banks from here on. Wait, Golden? famous tena <laughs> famous tenacious bacon doggo. What is up with that link? <laughs> oh, oh, I apologize. It's so small in in my chat. Twitch link names are amazing. I the the clip names are incredible. I have fallen in love with this. All right. So Fueler is creating a hellish army of undead soldiers it feels like. And we're trapped in the madness that is our own mind right now. Yeah, I had no idea either, honestly. Ooh, Hearthstone. What what are you playing? What's the metal look like in that game right now? I have not played Hearthstone in a real hot minute, so I need to find the name of this song. Let's see if I can Shazam it. He says optimistically hoping to catch it through his headphones, I guess. I'm sure I could just Google it. Oh, you just logged in for the free cards. <laughs> do you do you keep up with the game at all, or are you just getting back into it right now? Like, have you taken a hiatus? I think the last time I really played Hearthstone was probably like 2018, so it's been like two years. The um, what was the meta? The Rino meta, I think, was his name. He was like a rogue dude that like spawned cards from your, I mean like everything in her stone. The curse of Sarah. We found her. She's alive. Okay, that's fair. He gave him the gold and I, the azure. I don't see him very often anymore. The green is stronger. Are you feeling okay. ill? I'm here, but no. No. Let's get you I out of here. M might have Comes to log in and dreams. check that out. Our minds melt like colors on a palette. Come with me. Most it's, of my of card gaming dream. has been on vibrant MTG living, Arena now, vibrant. so. The sea green, maybe. No. No. Mrs. Hawkins, we must go before someone finds out. 
Oh, but he will. He always knows these things when it's about me. Uh, okay. We have valid San requirements. Uh, to say slock slick fuck to her or some shit. Uh, I think we're gonna go with this. Wait, do we not? I want to say this. Uh, who? Wait, it's not letting me click on anything here. Oh, E. That's why. I have why. seen the same color. It was not as vivid as you said. A pale copy. A discarded spawn. What the fuck? Do you know what it was? Tell me. I can't. We should not call his name. Terrible. Terrible consequences. <sighs> All right. Come with me. I have been watching Can a lot know? of Pin and Teller us. fool us, and more the way about. these two are talking right now feel like that. exactly the same code that Maybe. Pin and Teller talk in when debunking magic. I have no us. clue what... Like, there's just little subtle hints of some sort of idea of something that I'm not studio. fully aware of. What? You painted me. That's where you saw me. Uh, you notice some things have changed, like the priest basic card that gives you a free card every time you take damage is now, oh, it's a wild card. You mean the guards? I, I would imagine that they've shifted a lot of rarities and the way some of the, like, standard or the, what are they called? Not the base cards, uh, the base card i guess the base cards work in order to keep up with the meta they gave you a free deck of your choice in standard that's hella cool i i might have to check that out it's been a very very long time since i played hearthstone but especially with the offer of a free deck on the table that is super cool I, I was always fascinated with the, the way Hearthstone works and the ability they have to create oh, no. more... Oh, fuck. Hey, hey. Uh, run! A more sort of... Uh, yes, yes, wait, wait. Not free meta, but like the way some of the cards can interact based on uh, randomization and stuff. Like Those are mechanics that you don't actually get in physical card games because... Wait. Of just like machine. the mechanics. It's the green, the decaying one. The I decaying guess. green machine. Yes. Forced upon it's having the physical constraints. We don't have time. The for vials, the vials that have been everywhere. Okay. Until the wrong is set right. Damn it. So we have to set the wrong right first. All right, fine. We'll we'll play your game, Sarah. Uh, one of one of my favorite decks was always the like have always been the ones that I'd be better off finding a tool. Uh, literally, just like randomly summon cards that you don't own or don't put in your deck in Hearthstone. Oh, we spewed the green everywhere. All right, that should do it. Let's move. <laughs> I oh fuck. Then there's Charles, of course, waiting for us. I thought his tentacle hand was on the other hand. I'm your puppet no more. You bastard. Boss fight? You're my wife, my wife. You owe me obedience. That's a little possessive, buddy. Leave her alone. We're leaving this crazy island. Don't get between Using the track. See, I didn't even know there were unique her heroes for some adventures. That's super cool. Are they like sort of variants on the, the normal ones? Or are they widely different? Nobody tells me what to do with my wife. How dare you? Yeet. No. Why should I let you take her away when I could snap?
snap your neck. Uh, oh fuck. Uh, you're incapable of protecting her. All you did for her safety was throwing her in this rat hole. I hid her well enough. You let Fuller play with her. Stop. I did everything I could to protect her. But her identity, her power, is what threatens her. What? Sarah has seen things, has made things you can't even begin to imagine. Yeah, we know. Would you still save her if I told you that she is even more dangerous than I am? Uh... She's weak, physically, and mentally. Do not make the mistake of thinking she's a feeble woman. Sarah has been in the presence of the myth for too long. Even if she were to leave Darkwater, she would still hear his call. And the cult will always be here. Waiting for her. Then we get rid of its members. You are out of your league, detective. So she's the key. She control the whole is what's island. needed to bring him she back, will I think. Finally surrender to his power. And the world will fall. And that was his means of stopping it, was putting her in here no. where she can't get out. No one can escape the wheel of destiny. They say, but I will change it. I will save Sam. Shit is getting real, real. Oh. Well, he dead now. Oh, he's going to pull it all the way through. Oh, gosh, the germs on that handle. That's getting infected for sure. Touch my tentacles one last time, Sarah. been there the whole time okay okay I'm not gonna question it I'm sure it was there and we just didn't see it yeah uh I remember there used to be the like I'm, I'm sure there still are the, like weekly and daily sort of uh fun game modes in Hearthstone where they give you some like wild different heroes and characters to use that had like like you'd get to play uh um, like the demon prince and stuff of of Karzan and and shit, and that like they'd have wild abilities to like summon infernos and stuff. So I'm I'm sure the adventures are a kind of akin to that. Okay. No parent should have to bury their child. Knowing it's me that put him there. They give you more cards to make decks with. The guilt. The guilt will never Ooh, go away. I really like that. I, I, I like that like idea I of sort of giving you a reason to use your, like, draft chaff and other cards. I'll do anything to get him back. Anything. Rather than just getting stuck with a bunch of bad cards that won't do anything, give you like challenges that will actually make those bad cards good. Here in the first place. It began showing me things, things I never should have painted. 
things Charles should never have seen. What am I to you? What? <laughs> I took care of you, saved you from your miserable life. You'll never find a man better than me. You owe me. I owe you nothing. These do not sound like the we'll words a good man would say. You're not going anywhere. <laughs> Seems like a nice guy. Yeah, I'm sure he bought her dinner a whole bunch when they were dating. Could you imagine being the groundskeeper having saved her over the kid on accident? Like... Simon. Come on. It's over now. Or even just having to choose one to save. Nightmare. <laughs> uh, we have a couple more CP now. Let's bump up that psychology. We have four more. Um, we could do a little eloquence. I think we save up and we get investigation and finish that off next. I don't know how much longer this game is, honestly. Let's see. Let's let's judge it based off its achievements. Couldn't tell you. There's still a lot of achievements. But a lot of them are also like, collect all of these things. So. Mr. Pierce. We were waiting for you. Good. Sarah doesn't have much time. What are you doing here? <laughs> Did you think I would let you confront the occult without supervision? This without is too dangerous for a bookworm like you. Oh, what a dick. Algernon, Just because he I reads need to talk books to Mr. Pierce. doesn't mean he's Very not well, capable Sarah. of a tussle. I will be in Charles Hawkins' office. I don't read books and I'm not capable of a tussle. seem different yes when I woke up this morning my mind was sharper cleaner I can still hear the voice calling me it is so strong so ancient enticing dangerous I may never be able to escape his grip but for now I can keep it at bay I know what I owe you mr. Pierce but I can't come back to Boston with you I feel guilty you and Drake are up to something uh, hmm. Oh, I'm just realizing now, it tells us what we are in, in the category. Uh, you and You've Drake are friends. have been friends for a long time, hiding each other's secrets. I trust him. What are you planning to do? I must find it and kill it. We're going to kill Cthulhu? Holy shit. No. No, you will come with me to Boston. I owe you no obedience. This isn't about what you want or don't want to do. You we will get wild. The world just because you can't face the consequences of your actions. I am willing to atone for my sins. No, you're just trying to erase all proof of the mistakes you've made. I know what I have done. 
I will not rest until the creature is sent back to its dimension. See, this is insane. Like, all of a sudden, we know, we know everything. Like, our character knows everything he's talking about, but we as a player still don't. It, it's insane. Like, you can't give up, even knowing the stakes. Yes, thank you. Still, I won't let you go. What? What? You will stay here until I find a safe way to return to Boston. That's ridiculous. Listen. Algernon knows of a way to protect me. Help him find what he seeks, and we we've got to find the amulet. Yeah. All right. I'll help you. This is so interesting. The way that this game is like developing, because I, I mean, I've been paying pretty good attention to everything going on, and I feel so out of the loop as a player right now. And, and it makes me feel like the character has been gaining insight that I just, as a player, can't comprehend or know or understand. It, it is very... It feels very Lovecraftian in that sense. That, like, all of a sudden, everyone is just clued into what's going on. And me, as a player, is just like, uh, yes, I'll click that option. Duh, duh, duh. Talk to Algernon. Where are you at, Algernon? Seeing you again. Ah, it's you. I'm here for her, not you. I don't care why you're here. Your usefulness is the only thing that matters. How do we protect Mrs. Hawkins from the influence of the forces that claim her? By following Charles Hawkins, that imbecile of a thief, of course. What do you mean? He found something, an amulet. The symbol engraved on it could protect Sarah. Could? We are dealing with forces that by far surpass what your intellect can process. Ooh, Feel free to ask me any question regarding the matters that exceed your grasp. <laughs> He's like, you're going to say I can't fight. I'm going to say that uh, you a dumb big brute that can't think. Uh, well, we got to go with this weird nonsense. What is the true nature of the Necronomicon? I see that you are interested in my precious book. It is the definitive book of knowledge of the occult, Mr. Pierce, written by Abdul Alhazri. It is the answer to many a question. That is why it's so highly valued. Yes, and even though it is a copy, given to me as a gift by Professor Armitage of Miskatonic University, the work remains very powerful. I understand better why you keep it in a safe. Okay. The dagger with the strange sign. Was it you who sold it to Francis Sanders? If you are referring to the dagger of the ancients, then yes, it was me. Why? Do you know what he intended to do with it? Francis was primarily a collector of occult objects. He liked rare items such as the dagger. <laughs> but I doubt he knew its purpose. It allowed me to send the creature you call the Shambler back into the painting. Fascinating. But I am afraid that this might. I only love be how much we're we're very you much mean like. That thing could come back. Uh, yes, that just is why wholly I'm on board for, for this at this point. We've seen like two or three spooky solution. things, and we're like, this is real. It this occult exists. It's like, there are darknesses that we don't understand. This creature, the Shambler. What is it? It is a hunter. It travels from one dimension to another to hunt down its prey. Francis Sanders was one of its victims. How could a creature like that end up in one of Mrs. Hawkins' paintings? Sarah has an uncommon gift. A connection with entities that live beyond our reality. I doubt that she was aware at the time, but when she painted the picture in a certain way, she called it. And now it remains in our reality. Let us say that it uses the painting as a portal into our reality, and we make enticing prey for it. So why not just destroy That's the painting? That's why we must find a way of sending it back to where it came from permanently. A genius like you must have already found a way to get rid of this creature, yes? I sense your sarcasm, but it does happen that, yes, I do have a solution. I think I can destroy it. But for that, I must approach the creature. 
And to be able to do so, I need the key to Rie. Another one of your baubles. It is no bauble, <laughs> unbeliever. It is a very powerful protection, able to repel very ancient forces, much more effective than your cult. What does it look like? It is a golden amulet, bearing very ancient inscriptions and an elder sign at its center. A star with an eye in the middle. I've already right. seen that sign. Where can we find it? Therein lies the problem. That foul thief Charles has hidden it somewhere. Perhaps I in that this chest below. among his personal effects. I think that it has something to do with the location of the amulet. I'll follow this lead. You continue searching. That is what I intend to do. As for you, return here the second you find it. I don't want it to disappear. Another again. complex puzzle to solve. It's Kratos. Kratos has the amulet. Uh, we know where some of these busts are. They're upstairs. This is not the creepy one in particular. I like that we have both the main objective to find the bust and the secondary objective, or to find the amulet, and the secondary objective here is to find the bust. But we know the bust is going to correlate with the amulet. Was Sarah Hawkins telling the truth? Um, oh, this is interesting. I think we might have just wandered straight into where we needed to be. Our, our memory just brought us right back here. Uh, hmm. There doesn't appear to be anything to enter. There it is. Ha -ha. What kind of ritual was she preparing? Uh, uh, Francis was telling us was that the she was trying the to... Displayed here? Trying to banish him with this ritual, I believe, right? Why would we look at it? Mrs. Hawkins never told me why she was in possession of the Necronomicon. How did she survive her encounter with the Shambler? Knowing Mrs. Hawkins, I bet she was willing to fight. She punched it. Did Charles Hawkins break the lock to enter? Oh, he interrupted the ritual. He's the reason it still exists now. If the amulet can protect Sarah Hawkins oh, we from found the influence the bus. of the mythos, I must find it. The sketch must guide me to the artifact concealed by con artifact concealed by concealed Car Charles Hawkins. Where have I already seen it? Uh, all right, so this is another bust with a skull head next to it. We have to travel around looking for all the busts. Oh, that's unlocked now. Okay. Hmm. Nothing in there. I'm just double checking that no items respawned or like new things have spawned or that we didn't miss any like hidden items now that our our spot hidden is leveled up fully. Just a quick little pass. We never got to explore in here fully before we got knocked out by Charles Hawkins was the first occultist we encountered in here. Probably. Oh, here's busts. Not the right ones. Okay, okay. Uh, there's a skull and books, so that probably means it's going to be in, like, the library. Because that's where I keep my skulls and books. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Discovered it. 
And there's the amulet. We've done it. We've solved the amulet puzzle. Okay. All right, I think we're gonna die. That seems to be what the visions are telling us. I'm pretty sure this game's gonna have like several endings, right? Our destiny keeps getting marked in all kinds of different ways. I'm sure there's one that like, if we didn't do any of the occult insanity stuff, then we'd be fine. But now we're sitting at, what, what's our sanity look like? Look at that. We've almost maxed out everything in our sanity. Which is probably going to lead us to being very, very corrupted by the Cthulian call at the end. Alright. Ah, it's you again. Uh. I think I found amulet. what we're looking for. Let me see that. Yes, that's it. It's perfect. We are saved. Yeah, we are. I must tell Mrs. Hawkins. Yes, do that. You think he's going to run off by the time I get to her? Take the amulet and, and take off so that... Nah, he seems like an okay dude, right? I have it. It's a strange amulet. I hope it will protect you, considering that nothing will help you change your mind. You must understand. I already went too far. What have you seen that's so terrible you convinced yourself that you had to risk so much? I can't tell you now. This story I feel like is going to end badly. Communication at this point here. is more important. Chief West is here with Sullivan. Bradley, you take care of Sarah. I will deal with them. You sure? All right. What do these guys want? I've been hearing about you a lot lately. Oh, they're in the cold, aren't they? You seem to enjoy causing trouble. Nice job, Chief. You got me. Great police work. You can try to play smart with me all you want, Pierce. Witnesses have identified you. As the one who set fire to Riverside. Witnesses? How convenient. <coughs> That's not the whole story, is it? I don't there care it is. about your stories. Save them for the judge. Lock up the guy who's trying to save the town. You know, us cops, we base our investigation on facts and testimonies. You might want to try that next time. I don't know if they ever do. They're now wrongfully arresting someone based on falsified witness reports. Those don't sound like facts and evidence to me. That sounds like policemen who are corrupt and working for some sort of occultish supremacist organization and would rather continue to keep the organization in charge than actually uphold the law. <laughs> facts may not care about my feelings, but I care about the facts. All right. Okay. I think we've got to be getting close to the end, right? We're on chapter 10. You know, I've heard a lot about you, Mr. Pierce. Okay. All good, I hope. 
It appears that you've been involved in a variety of misdemeanors since your arrival on Dark Water. Entering private property, twice. Aggression, insulting behavior, and to top it all, arson. Since when is insulting behavior a misdemeanor? The truth comes at a cost. Listen, in my line of business, we are obliged to overstep certain limits. We're not just talking about illegal surveillance. You were being accused of serious crimes. There's nothing serious. Like behaving about bad. And you've got no proof that I started the fire. Don't you worry. I'll find some. You're going to waste time and effort on me while terrible things are happening on this island. Yeah? So what's going on that I don't know about? All right, uh, what do we do? Fueler? I think we start with Fueler. You'd be better off taking an interest in Dr. Fuller. The experiments he carries out on his patients are as inhuman as they are illegal. And when Dr. Colden wanted to put a stop to it, she too went under the knife. What are you talking about? Nobody's reported any wrongdoings. Because they did. Dr. Fuller is a man who is as much respected and admired on the island as he is in his profession. It seems like you've got a grievance against him. Is that why you set fire to his institute? I'm admitting nothing at all. Come on, I'll show you to your new residence. I'll be back later to ask you some questions. I hope that you'll make the right choice and confess to everything. See, and that's the thing about law enforcement. Is that like it would be for me. You can beat a confession out of anyone. Questioning. And that's so fucked I have up. No doubt about that. Good night, Mr. Pierce. It's the whole premise behind plea deals, right? Is that like you you don't have enough information to convict them of the actual Mr. crime, Pierce. and so you get them to accept the a plea that's not in their best interest. So you never actually have to take it to court. Who's there? The voice in my head. Oh gosh. Are you breaking me out with, with slime? Yep. Get things wet for me so we can break out of jail. Thanks, Cthulhu. Your services are appreciated. Not because of the scale of my terrestrial form, but as a reminder of the immensity of my knowledge. Which I came to share with you, human. Teach me your ways, Mr. Cthulhu. <laughs> Do not struggle. Let you go will of not your corporeal to speak or escape my influence. Struggle? Submit. Oh, we have the valid sanity requirements to submit. I think we submit. Excellent. Oh gosh, what ending are we getting into? To Your dreams have been gently shepherded by the being they call the Oracle. What is the Oracle? But it is your curiosity. We expand and fate that have led you up to this moment. You are here to accept the knowledge and follow the path. We about to find out that two plus two only equals four this because of colonization. That the likes of you, particularly those with such rare characteristics, cannot refuse. The more you bend your human spirit to make it able to receive the truth, the closer you will come to embrace his power. Where is the Oracle, Truth Seeker? Would you like to see her? Uh, yeah, let's see the Oracle. Accept the knowledge, baby. Where is the Oracle? Is she not the very object of your quest? I'll let you see for yourself. But do not forget. So Sarah's the Oracle. Your fate has already been written. Our paths shall cross again, Truth Seeker. Squap. You know.
know the risk, Sarah. If you happen to use your powers again, you... You may lose more than your life. It is not about me, but innocent lives. I hope that your sources are reliable. Oh god, am I gonna take her over and make her not do it? Legos have the painting. If the dimensional shambler is to appear, he will do it here. The shambler! I knew it! No! Not again! Oh god, we're taking over her, aren't we? And then we're gonna decide the fate of the world. Yep. But because we're insane, we're taking over her and then we're gonna make her do fucked up shit. Algernon, come back! It's all the way down. Let's check this out first. Algernon. Where is Algernon? And the Shambler. I'm, I'm pretty sure we're getting very close to the end. Also, I feel like this is an intense, spooky, stealthy spot, but it's also pretty freely open, it seems. gotta be we're gonna be at a puzzle right expand our minds and solve the puzzle figure out Cthulhu's mysteries of basic mathematics and memorization and reading you know that's always that's always a question about like game development especially game development is the idea of accessibility versus, like, thematic and mechanics. And, and, and how accessible do you make your game in exchange for losing that sort of ludonarrative? And that's, that's, I think, like, the games that have suffered the most have been ones that have gone so far into the mechanical representation that, that they've ostracized a lot of the, the player base. You know, games like Secret World and Wildstar and stuff. But then you have games like this that feel like they lose a lot of value. Hey! You can't leave us! Sorry, oh, friend, fucking cat. But it's either you or me. No! What are you... When they could add more complexity in favor open. of... Open! Open up! Open this door! It's here. Oh, she just sacrificed them to the Shambler. Fuck. What a cold-hearted monster. That's what those bloody holes are for. Are you sure you want to do it? Let's go. Quickly, come with me. Fucking wild. Shambler can open breaches between dimensions. He uses glyphs as anchors to stay in our world. Then I must destroy these glyphs. Exactly. How can I find them? I will make the glyphs visible so you can revoke them. By doing so, this zone will be protected by a barrier. Okay. Perfect. Stay inside the shield. I'll create the protective barrier. Get back inside. I'll never forgive myself for this painting. Danger. Gotcha. Find and destroy the first glyph. The first glyph must have appeared somewhere on the floor. Can I 
seeing it. No glyph yet. Find that symbol, Sarah. It should react to the light if you use your lamp. I understand that. I know how it works. I'm just too spooked to run around too much. I'm ready for it now. I'm I'm ready for the jump scare. I need some oil. The first glyph must have appeared somewhere on the floor. But where on the floor did it appear is the question. for it, buddy. Or do I have to use the lamp the whole time? Is that what I'm missing? The first glyph must have appeared somewhere on the floor. Wait, that's not it, is it? That's the protection, yeah. There it is. We found it. The glyph. I can't move it. Is it acting against me? The ritual is working. Don't worry. It's just until I ward it off. Oh no. The wanderer yeah, is we back. Know. The glyph is ready. Back to the safety. Serpentine. Second okay. symbol has been revealed. We've warded it you off. You know what you have to do, Sarah. I should have checked to see if the symbol was visible without this. We'll figure it out this time. It doesn't seem to be attacking until we ward the symbol. The second glyph must have appeared. Let's press on. We're trying. We're trying, buddy. I need some oil. This is... Uh, the symbol must be here somewhere. We're looking. Look closely. That is what I'm doing. Yeah, thank you. Thank you for calling him out because he's being super obnoxious. He's not giving us any time to actually look. This place is huge. Is this it up here? Nope, oh, that's just glowingness. I've already done that symbol. The second glyph must have appeared. Let's press on. Yeah, unless you have more helpful hint than that, you're not doing us much good, buddy. Checked this already. Uh, last time we went up instead of staying on this floor, so maybe it's over here somewhere. Oh, more oil. That's good to know. The symbol must be here somewhere. Look closely. Maybe that it's not on the I'm floor doing. this time. Hmm. Where could you be, symbol? It's gonna it's gonna show up somewhere. And we're gonna find it and be like, oh we walked past it like four times, on. probably. I need some oil. Ugh. The running out of oil sucks. Alright, um, where haven't we checked? Down below that little area, I guess? Uh, this immediate area next to us, but I doubt it's gonna be there. It's gotta be somewhere that we're gonna have to run somewhere. for. Look closely. Like that is what here. I'm doing. We haven't checked down here yet. Nothing. Hmm. I'd assume this area is kind of broken up into quadrants, and we've gotten one from here. So our next one's got to be in a different little quadrant, right? There it is, found the second it. Glyph must have appeared. Let's press on. We gotta move this. 
All right. Oh, fuck. Run! Oh, God, I went the wrong way. Oh, this is such a bad path. Grab some oil on our way back. Oh, fuck. Of course it's going to crawl out of the wall at it. Oh, shit, it's right there. Uh, yep. Bye, bye, Sir, buddy. Go here, away. Look, look, you startled me, my friend. <sighs> oh, I startled I the you. The shambler is trying to anticipate our actions. Yeah, no shit. The second glyph must have appeared. Yeah, we Let's found it. On. Is it gonna pop back out again? No, okay. He's getting stronger and more aggressive. If he catches up with you, try blinding him. Cool, I can blind him. That's good to know. Now they're gonna tell me that, of course. <laughs> Be gone, demon beast! Oh, nope, that didn't work. Okay. I guess I probably had to let go and then just bail, right? Alright. Huh. I need some oil. Where are we at? Do we have to do all three? No, okay. So he has a hole here he can get out of. So Oh, they're gonna make us get spooked again. Ah, so scary. He's in the wall. Dun, 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 dun. I think that's one of the issues with uh, horror games is that the areas in which you experience the fear have to be areas that you don't have to repeat a bunch because if you get repeatedly spooked then like like the, the scare only works one time you can't really force someone to be scared repeatedly uh, he's gonna pop out of that one, yep. And so, like, there, there's this balance of making jump scares and moments like this, but also trying to maintain, like, actual player agency and give them now is when matters get mechanics that, that, that they can actually fail. We have to lure it in front of him. Okay. Yeah, we got that. That's easy enough. Uh, if we can provoke it. Where are you at, you nasty shambler? He's getting stronger and more aggressive. If yeah, he catches up that. with you, try blind. We're almost there, Sarah. Only one glyph okay, we have to find the last glyph first. Gotcha. Uh, I feel like it's going to be in another shitty corner. Which means probably over here in this zone. No, okay. Hmm. The glyph is near. Oh, there's, sure. there's the gate down below. I bet it's through there. Here, maybe? Nope. Gate above? I think there's one up above, too. Yeah, there it is. Nope. Guess not. That's just We're a good old there, locked Sarah. door. Only one glyph left to find. Alright. We can hear him breathing, which is just awful. Ha, found it. Release me now. Out oh gosh, him. release me. Run. Quickly, bring him towards me. All right, go, go, go. We're coming, Algernon. Oh, I don't know how close he is to us. Oh, he's right there. He's right there. Get him. Now do we burn it? Yeah. Get out of here, Shambler. You've activated my trap card. We banish you to the Shadow Realm. Let's go, Sarah. It's over. Do you hear something? Just burn it. Be I done with it. Him. Oh, she's going to crawl in the painting. Oh, 
Christ, please, don't. So the necklace did literally no good. just destroyed the world pretty actively. Sarah Hawkins, together with Algernon Drake, managed to permanently drive back the Shambler. However, this feat of strength cost her what was left of her self-awareness, and she succumbed to the call of the myth. I don't know why they're still calling this a myth. It seems very much a real thing that they're experiencing in this town. There's no reason to call this a myth. This isn't the call of the myth. This is the call Sarah of darkness. Hawkins. Why did she do it? Damn it. Did our guest enjoy our hospitality? No. Let me out of here. I'm warning you, Pierce. I want a short and clear-cut confession. Do you admit your guilt in the case brought before you? No. You don't have any idea what's happening on this damn island. Chief West, we got a problem. Damn it, not now. What is it this time? Captain Fitzroy, Chief. Some guys have ransacked Roy's bar. They went berserk, attacked the patrons, smashed the place up. It's chaos. Because everyone this is going is mad now. Let me out. <sighs> Let's go take a look. Tell Sullivan and Marshall to keep this one nice and warm till I get back. Are you stupid? Don't you understand? How do we get out of here? Those goddamn idiots. Well, we sleep. We let the madness take over. Are you coming back, Leviathan? Yes! I find you again. As promised, I come back to reiterate the offer of truth. We accept. Let our mind be free. As your mind expands and finally understands the true nature of the world, your perceptions change. Are you ready to see your world and the ones that live in it as they truly are? Yeah, we are. Oh gosh, what is this even? Alright, I have no idea which one of these we click. I, I cannot understand this language at all. Uh, this, this word ends with what this word starts with. We know that much. Um, that's about all we get. I, does it even matter? Are they all going to be the same thing? All right. Um, I'm going to go with this one. Truth Follow the path of the ultimate truth. I'm ready. I'm following. Open the open the gates for me. Of course they have a crying baby. Why wouldn't they have a crying baby? Probably. Who are my buddies? The villagers. Me. We're all in danger. As long as you're alive. Because I've opened my mind into this. Oh, is she gonna kill me? <laughs> Fuck! We just witnessed our own execution. Oh, 
last but they're alive. Fuck. Thank you, Liz. Just wish me some good words. We gave in real quick to this voice, honestly. We did not question it at all. They offered us knowledge and we were like, yes, please. But that's, you know, we're no truth deniers. There's our two endings. It may have been written for both of us, but I will fight for what is right. Into the office. This is so wild. Oh, now we're cat. Jesus. Dom, what happened? We are bouncing all over the place now. This better be interesting. Seems like someone decided to grant you your deepest wish. A mutiny? <laughs> Worse. They killed Chief West. What? And left his body in one of our warehouses. You're kidding. They're all yours. Which one of you is dumb enough to kill a cop and throw him on my doorstep? <sighs> we don't know nothing. The dead body in my warehouse disagrees. We swear, miss, it's not us. I don't have time for this. It had to be the man in the Spill back it. with the mustache. We've got nothing to do with it. Uh, punch the one on the right, punch the one on the... Uh, let's intimidate them. I want them. to know everything about the corpse over there. Or I swear you will meet the same end. If we speak to you, we're dead. If we don't speak to you, we're dead. What? No! <laughs> Listen, miss. We didn't see what happened, but we heard noises and talkings, like we've been betrayed. By whom? Go, look at the body. You'll find out for yourself. Interesting. Let's go, Dom. Where is this workshop? I'll go with you. He must be talking about the old boat repair workshop. They've done nothing wrong. Apart from killing a cop on our turf. That's hooey. How do you know they killed him? Do you want me to settle it with some lead? Scurvy dog always threatening us. Can't argue with guns when all you have are hammers. Quieten these lunkheads down before I shiv the lot of them. I'll take care of them. A bunch of liquor sponges aren't going to lay down the law around here. I'll take a look at this workshop. Join me when you're finished. Alright, what are we going to find in here? Who killed this cop? They're claiming they were set up. Maybe by the dock master? Maybe he's trying to get rid of them? There's nothing here. Just, I mean, there's a ton of blood. Maybe we follow the blood to some sort of crate. Here we are. Here we are. Yeah, no shit. Here we are indeed. And it wraps up and around. To this door. Aha. All right, we're in now. If someone had told me that one day West's work would kill him. There's the dead cop. Someone moved the corpse here. Where did someone the murder happen? Armor. What did you do? I mean, the murder obviously happened in the giant pool of blood, right? We came from here. My money's on the captain. Down the stairs. Yep, we know that already. Right back to the giant pool in the start. So this is where West was killed. Yep. 
What's that? What the fuck is that? Where did it come from? It was a cultist. Okay. I really like the sort of choppiness that it gives your your investigation after you find an occult object. Like, this is fucking cool. We're in some sort of, like, Matrix version of this. He wasn't alone. Who were those guys? There's only one man who smokes these gaspers. Oh, shit. Fitzroy. Fitzroy. We fucking called it. You're not supposed to be here, truth seeker. Oh shit. Get out of here. We have gun and gun is very strong in this game. Holy shit. Gun feels like actual gun. And I do love that it just gives us the prompt like, hey, murder the fuck out of these guys. Jesus. All right. So now the whole town is just becoming fucked up. All right. This is wild. We're getting into some deep shit now. That was interesting that we saw Sarah in that in that vision, though. So this has to be post-Shambler, right? Because she's part of the occult now. Or it, it's got to be post-Shambler. Well, we're just locked up. We're locked up waiting here while all this is going on in the town, and we're just viewing it through their eyes. Enter the madness. We're yes. close to the end. Wake I feel up. it. What happened? Take that weapon. You'll need it. They're hawking sheep. Ah! What? We have Come. gun. She's my making head. the world turn mad. They're coming into my head. Bradley, damn it. Pull yourself together. Pistol whip a bitch. I can't resist any longer. Well, we're killing Bradley. Uh, this is related. The cultist behind you this remember condition. the cultists we saw under the Hawkins house? I saw them on the docks. Pierce, you've been in this cell for days. <laughs> Listen, I think they Conquer are Cthulhu with our gun! Gun is the one weakness I of the deed. was unable to stop her. What do you mean, unable? It doesn't matter how, how otherworldly you are. You cannot be gun. Alone. Told me she couldn't resist. That will all. probably for sure be a talking point of Bundle way. Bourgeoisie this month. They saw her going in the direction of the whaling station. Damn it. The only I cure to sanity is gun. Into one of those things. No. Keep fighting it, Bradley. It's too late. You have to end this. Do it. Kill me. Spare Enough. him. Kill I can't him. kill you, Bradley. Now go, you imbecile. I can't kill you, Bradley. You're my friend. You've been with me through this whole time. I may be ushering in a new era of the Deep Ones, but I am not Sarah a murderer. Hawkins was going to the whaling station. Who's that? Gun! Oh god. What am I doing? I should probably be stealthing this rather than just murder, but the gun is very strong and I do like using gun. And I'm I'm pretty sure this is not meant to be stealth through, honestly. I bet once we get here we're gonna have to Gun, gun, gun! Yep, just like that. Thank you. How did you manage to get out of your cell? 
Officer Bradley. He did not look like that. What the fuck? Bradley and his sense of justice. Where is he? Oh, we can't. I'm sorry, officer. He's gone. Did you? No. When I left, he was still breathing. Poor I'm not gonna kill guy. a cop. I see you're out of bullets. Take these. Sullivan won't need them anymore. Thanks. Thanks, Marshal. I have a feeling we're gonna do a lot of murders. What happened here? I heard a footstep. Are you up here? Yeah, you are. Hello, Who's friend. There? Meet gun. Goodbye. <laughs> the gun is so strong. It looks like an old seaway map. Uh, there was just a dev post about from the Cyberpunk 2020 devs. And they were like, once you get to a certain point, it's going to feel like you're using an aimbot. And uh, that's what I, this is what I can only imagine it's going to feel like there. Fitzroy destroyed all the ways off the island. Fuck. What are you still doing here, Cat. detective? I need to go to the whaling station. It's locked. You'll need a key to get there. Give me your key. Right. Go get me a first aid kit. I might have something for you. You were chasing Fitzroy, but now you're here, injured. How do you know? There were too many. Got us. If I don't get something to stop the bleeding, I I'm a goner. I got you, boo. I'm coming back with a first aid kit. Hurry up. I won't last long. Uh, am I stuck? Okay, there it goes. I, I love this idea that, like, a first aid kit is going to stop the bleeding enough that a few seconds would have killed her. But, but a first aid kit is more than enough? Ew. And when they found out, they ate my flesh. Yeah, that's a bad idea. I don't... And my flesh granted them powers and revelations. Did it though? You are getting closer, truth seeker. Am I gonna have to make the decision to eat its flesh? You know I'm gonna do it. The truth, the ultimate truth about life. If I prove anything, it's easy to create sex, buddy. The answer is so simple. Shit. Fitzroy became the leader of the cult? You should try gun, Fitzroy. It's very effective. Someone with exceptional sensitivity to his dreams. This gift will lead him to this island. Oh, have I been getting played this whole time in my quest for knowledge? I speak for him we cannot name. Probably should have done the first done? aid kit first. Oh gosh. Uh, cat, don't worry. I'm still, I'm still here. I'll find your first aid kit sometime soon. Hmm. But where could it be? Okay, she's still alive. She hasn't died on me yet. Oh no, his leg is gone. 
Oh gosh, what could that mean? I have absolutely no clue where this first aid kit is either. It doesn't appear to be in here anywhere. So it's got to be outside somewhere. We've also... We're, we're getting a little FPS drops here. Some, some tearing a bit. Don't you come at me, buddy. I got gun. I will gun you so hard you won't walk for days. Go! Oh, that sounded like a regular human being. Enough! Nope, okay, good. Just making sure. Wouldn't want to be a murderer. Where might our first aid kit be? I don't think we've ever ran into one yet. Maybe it's by the warehouse, and then we just have to backtrack a bit. That might be their intent. Go forward, kill the zombos, go back, get her, go forward again. Deliberate backtracking is always such a weird design. Gun kills person. I don't know how many bullets I have still. It, it feels like infinite. I think the only thing about bullets was just like a cheeky nod. How many died because of this madness? Oh, that was interesting. So they do seem to give you some capacity to stealth this. Maybe I'm going to run out of bullets for like the final fight and that's going to suck. I think you guys are the one that's going to die. This is why gun safety is so important. When you ever see someone with a gun, it looks like don't Brendan's repeatedly yell, die, die, die at them. Is that you, detective? Can't leave the damn island, huh? I must go to the whaling station. I'll help you get there if you bring me something to fix this wall. Where are we gonna I'm find back these? With a first aid kit. Oh, make it quick. I'm dying. Is, are we just gonna find like a weird stockpile of first aid kits somewhere? Die. This is the most comfortable I've ever felt in this game. Sorry. Having a gun really does make uh, the scaredness go away. You have nothing to fear when you have a gun. Hmm. Is this why people buy guns in real life? Is this the expected result of owning gun? That like, who cares if the deep ones are, are resurrected because we can just use gun? Another dead body. Still no first aid kits. This is so odd. I feel like uh, you kind of dread getting a gun in some horror games. Yeah. That's exactly how I feel right now. Is that like all sense of horror has just been lost on me now. I, I can only assume gun is not going to work on the existential threats of deep ones. I, I, I can only imagine that gun won't be very good against them. But yeah, I mean, it makes sense if, if this sort of fetishization of the effect of gun in, that we see in video games and movies and TVs is actually widely believed as some sort of reality of gun. And even against man, gun does not work too well. Like, in real life, people would not be dying like this because of gun. Uh, like, a tranquilizer would deliver more so this result than gun. Hey, you! 
Come on. They got the boss. Nasty yeah, I move. know. I need a first aid kit. I wanted to get her the first aid kit in the Hawkins warehouse. But there's one of those poor bastards in it. Too dangerous. I'll see what I can do. I'm not worried. <sighs> Bye. See? Easy as that. I, you know, I, I, I have to pretend that there's, like, silver bullets in this gun or something, right? One first aid kit. Two wounded people. Who deserves it? They're gonna make me make the decision. Uh, Cat or Mitchell? Who do you think? I'm, I'm thinking Cat, but I don't know. That, that... Hmm, what do you think? Chat, my, my one lovely viewer of David... Who, who are you feeling we should see? Cat or Mitchell? Station. I'd better hide and wait until they're gone. Why? You have gun. Um, I'm assuming it just moderately affects things at the end. Uh, Cat is the run, like the the head of the bootlegger gang. She's the Who's the there? one who was kind of standoffish to us at the start. But she seems to have turned around to us. And Mitch is the the head of the sort of, like, fisherman's uh, union slash gang. And, and he's also been sort of standoffish. They're both at war with each other. So I'm kind of deciding, in a sense, who gets to own the town after this would be my guess. Whether it's the bootleggers or the fishermen. Cat then? Yeah, that's I'm I'm pretty sure that's exactly what it is. Like the the bootleggers have been up to no good the whole kind of time. And also Cat did set you up to die from the shambler. So they they definitely are the more evil choice, I'm pretty sure. The fishermen are just kind of like guys who've been doing their job. All right. Go get let's, me your first let's aid do kit. it. I might have something for you. Uh, give her the first aid Here, kit. Take it. Right. The entrance to the whaling station is behind the Hawkins warehouse. Yeah, we know that. All right, you've been healed by the magic of a single first aid kit that was good enough to stop the bleeding that was going to kill you. We definitely didn't cauterize your wound or anything. We probably just stuck a gauze pad with some anti back uh, like some antibacterial cream on it, but you know, who needs anything more than that? And I don't think there was anything else down here. Gun! Ooh, actually. Oh, that's the, the whaling station. Okay, she gave us the key for the bootleggers passage. Got it. It is a shame that they're making us kill an innocent, though. Indirectly through our actions. Those are the worst kinds of murders. Because they feel preventable. Like, it's a first aid kit. Odds are there's enough resources in there for both of you. I've never seen a first aid kit that was like, we have one band-aid. Gun. Yo, we just superhero jumped off that. No fucks given. Gun. Empty. Oh no, we did have a set amount of bullets. Either that or that was deliberately triggered right there. One of the two. There's literally no way to tell though, honestly. Are there more baddies? I, I would feel like if they were going to give us a set amount of bullets, they'd have some sort of indication. Yep, that's a bad guy. 
He just fucking walked right off. Oh, fuck. There's so many of them now. Oh, fuck. There's cultists there. I don't have a gun anymore! I feel powerless now. What do I even do? If they touch me, I'm dead, right? Can I just kite him around? Go, 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 go. Sucker! Oh, I've got a lantern. Let's just burn this all to the ground. What am I even trying to do right now? Who am I trying to save? Oh, do you have more gun for me? It's happening. It's happening. What's happening? That's not very informative. See, the, once again, the character knows more than I do. Which, for any other game, I'd probably be upset, but for a game whose core mechanic is sort of around sanity, uh, I, I think that's a cool feature that, that could be played with more. Chapter 13. We gotta be getting close. Our, our goal is to get through this tonight. I, I don't know if we're gonna actually be able to. But we're sure as hell gonna try. I feel like we're very close. Okay. We've got this. We've got this. Because we've already gone full occult now. Hither thou shall be free. Sarah with those bastards. I gotta find her quick. That was two entirely contrasting things. Oh, fuck! This is where we were at the very beginning. Where he told us we'd set him free. Alright. Here it goes. We're about to set the Leviathan free. And who knows what madness that's gonna wreak on the world. Just do a quick pass to see if there's any goodies. Another volume of the Reverend's Wife's Diary. Detective Historian. Was that to find all the Reverend's Wife's things? Where are you at, Detective Historian? Pretty sure that was just to find all of those. Looks like a page from a log from 1847. We are starving. The fish seem to have deserted these waters. If we don't quickly find an answer to this crisis, Fitzroy could well set off a mutiny. Each day, more and more men believe in his tales of a miraculous catch. We sighted an enormous whale further south, the biggest we've ever seen. Fitzroy keeps telling the men that this is the miraculous catch he promised. Oh, shit. So Fitzroy probably... He was probably the original, like, one who was being called. The Leviathan called to him to catch it, and so that they'd eat it. Office key. We love a good office key. Uh, there's a hidden thing somewhere in here. Under there. Dun, 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 found Four it. was a crew member, too. Interesting. 
The morning is biting. I mean, we know they were all c crew members, and they all ate the flesh. We we saw that vision already. Half of my crew is dead. There's weird voices. I'm going to be quiet for a second so you can hear those voices. I think it's that girl singing again. Fuck. I don't know how my harpoon finally pierced the skull of the monster. The crew's in a sorry state. Fueler looks to be injured, but some will not recover. Why'd they bring the singing back? It's so unsettling. We have an office key now, perhaps up here. Yeah. Look at this, solving the puzzles. I'll be lucky if it's still sharp enough. I mean, a knife is better than no knife. It mentions the Leviathan. The How whole it drove crew the sailors ascended mad. into madness. They speak of dreams, visions, and a nightmare city of a sleeping god. Madness. I locked myself in the cabin. I won't be able to hold out for long. Fitzroy has 12 men on his side. They sacrificed everyone who tried to stop the, into their new god. I beseech you, almighty god, to have pity on our souls. This will be my last prayer. I can hear them whispering. Now we have a pass through. All right, let's let this beast out. Doesn't work. This handle moves the reservoir. Yep. If I can get some momentum, it might work as a ram. So we need to fix that one. Boy, is that what we got to do right? Sarah Hawkins was probably taken behind this huge door. Got to find a way to get through. Oh, I don't know why we walked all the way down. We can just climb or cut across. A rope and a hook. Could use that to hold the reservoir back. All right. Now we now we rope the reservoir. And that will will cause the gears to fuck it up while it's pulling. And then once the rope breaks, this should stop the cart from moving. Yep. So now this we can help me get the tank swinging. Move it back. I need something to cut the rope to release the and tank. Yep. Against use the our knife to cut the rope. Physics, baby. Create a pendulum. Beast in the cave. Oh, we have more CP. We, we've been very bad about keeping up with this. Holy shit. All right. Um, I guess sh eloquence. Why not? Dun, 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 dun. We're almost there. I feel it. I think that got rid of our ladder. I think we have to go down at the other side now. <laughs> Oopsies. Did I do that? nasty little occult room. Oh, fuck. As the old god takes over our mind and sends us into madness. Sarah? All 
All right, Sarah, let's do it. Let's summon Cthulhu. phone call. Hello. Who is this? The quest for truth requires sacrifice. There's no room for compassion. Who's okay, there? truth? Your stubbornness of wanting to help others who would have deserted you is a weakness. Faith leads us inevitably to solitude, and in one's final moments, one is always alone. You can't escape it forever. It will always find its way. Damn it! Who the fuck? Where the fuck am I? Sarah, let's do this. Keep making me weirdly go you into madness and teleport. He's still alive. I probably can't go through here. Oh, my investigation might actually be high enough. Perfect. Uh, so that does save me going around, it seems. I have a feeling things are about to get buck wild, right? Yeah, that's like one of four paths around to this, it seems. Finally awake. How do you feel, Mr. Pierce? Uh, Fuller! Son of a bitch! I'll kill you! <laughs> no. No, I'm not even We really have no with ability you. to distinguish reality well, from, from fake reality now. to be perfectly now. precise, I am with you. But not in this cell. What have you done to me? Me? Nothing, really. See... It's one of the exquisite effects of this incredible creature. Uh, Leviathan! I see you already know about it. Well, shall we begin? So what is he doing? Creating this sort of like weird collective consciousness? Do we take the treatment or do we not? We're going ham. Let's take it. Fuck it. Fuck it. Take it. Drink his madness potion. We're doing it, baby. We're doing it. Eat the meat. We'll discover the truth. Let me take a sample from you. Flesh, blood, spinal fluids. Don't fear. I created the mythological Ankor from Leviathan's flesh. Who knows what I can make with you? I Am need I... your body for my research. What has happened? Oh, I can move. I wasn't expecting that. Gun! Yes! Our best friend, Gun! Killed him. A necessary sacrifice that proves your determination. 
Fueler has met gun now. Find the truth. And we have met and gravity. Free. <laughs> yeah, because Lulu's even like, exactly, motherfucker, you have gun. Show your devotion with murder. Okay. Uh, this is exactly what I did to Lillian in our session zero of D&D. &D, and I 100% know I'm going to regret it now. It's going to be the one that's straight. Yep. Whoa. This is cool. Let's crank that lever, baby. Nothing's happening. All right, fine. Let's solve the puzzle of the lever first. Oh. There are fake platforms we can and can't walk on, it seems. Stunts. I was trying to trust the nothingness. It didn't work. See, this feels like you can very much get into some, like, trusting your eyes versus not trusting your eyes sort of sanity play. Stunts. Nope. Dun, 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 dun. Here, 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 here. Damn it. So close. I will solve it, Cthulhu. I will solve your bridge puzzle. Look at that. I've done it. I've solved it. Uh, what just happened? God damn it. So we can pull the wrong. Okay. At least it's a short jump back. Is there any sort of indication? Nope. All right. We'll try Opsies first. Ha ha! You got nothing on us. Crank this lever like a good little teenager. Nothing's happening. Nope, still nothing. Oh, we have a whole other area here now. Schwap, schwap. Crawl under here. Oh, gosh. Uh, only one of these heads back, right? And that's the one we need. There, I see you. I see you, Maze Puzzle. I know how to solve you. Up, over. It's that top one there that goes down to there. All right, it's that bend right there. It's this one here. Look at that. Cake. I've solved your pipe puzzle. You got nothing on me. Now we can crank that lever. What? This is so good. This blend between like the fake world and reality. We have blown the fuck up out of this warehouse. Running, running, and running, running, and running, 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 running. Don't you do it? I have gun. 
Pierce. Fitzroy. Time to hoist the white flag. We're not gonna hurt you. I won't go without a fight. You think you're here of your own accord? Put a bullet in your head! I still really want one of these masks. I have been pretty willing to just like let you invade my mind and presence and body and being. And as I predicted, you have come to free me. So they caught this motherfucker and they've just like locked him up here and they've been casually feeding off of him for for decades it seems. They've literally just been using him as a factory for this, like, potion and elixirs and food. And the whole town has just been devouring it. set him free. You don't give no fucks now. I don't know how we're going to explain this to our boss, though, when we want to keep our PI license. She's going to look into this and be like, uh, your last job, you literally blew up the entire town, so... Do a flip. This way. Stand up. Walk. It's going to make me decide, isn't it, if I jump off and kill myself or if I keep going. No? Maybe it would have given me that option had I Is somebody not there? been so insane. Hey. Who are you? Maybe I'm just overthinking it. Where am I?
Oh, that's me. Do I become him? Am I just a vessel for the Cthulhu? It will soon be time, Henry Pierce. You are dead. None of this is real. I saw you dead, as I see you now. Am I crazy, too? You survived. Don't you understand? You couldn't die. You will stay alive until you fulfilled your destiny. No! Look at me. Look at me, Pierce. Dare tell me that you still don't believe it. Oh, we've gotta we've gotta keep doing Cthulhu Ilya. When I was eight, my little brother fell from the apple tree. He was bleeding. I took care of him. That very day, I decided to become a doctor. I never reneged on my oath. That's what led me to Darkwater. The people here needed me. I this died bonkers. trying to save one of them. Help me give them a second chance. Embrace the power of this sleeping god. You're out of your mind. It's not just your life that is at stake. Many men and women have sacrificed themselves for this moment. Colden! You will not deprive them of their hope of a better life. I saw what Leviathan did to Ford. We will all die like him. His life was written well before it started. It was not predetermined that he lived to see the call. But you? Yes. It is your destiny. Investigation. I understand now. Like you, I was called here by a higher power. Yes. All your choices had the sole purpose of preparing you for the final decision. I must make a choice. Not just make a choice. The right choice. Not yet, but soon. We have one more We're thing. We're so close. We might go late tonight just what to beat this. Is it? I must take you to Sarah Hawkins, our oracle. Let's go. Sarah. I feel her calling me. Let us not wait any longer. Not yet. You have one last thing to accomplish. Another one last thing? No. Please. I can't do it. Do you understand what it is? She has already fulfilled her mission. Worry about your own. No. No. No one can fight their fate. Neither them, nor you. Gun? Resist, Edward. They're already dead. There's nothing you can do. Just give in. See, like, he knows. He knows what he has to do. I still, as a character, or as a player, don't know what's going on. What is about to happen? Was he just, like, opening his mind to the voices or some shit? What happened to me? Sarah. I must go to Sarah. She is the only she will know what to do. I'm coming, Sarah. The miraculous catch was a trap. 
Leviathan wanted to be found. Destiny will guide me out of these caves. Yeah, we know that. She would only have slowed me down. Uh, we just got another achievement called Shadow Man. And I'm not... Oh, Shadow Out of Time. Discover all the murals of the disappeared tribe. Okay. Hell yeah. All right, we're going back to our queen. We're coming, Sarah. Guide us through our final moments. Did I go the wrong way? Why would they let us trek this far back? That feels cruel. They could have blocked that off down there. Where is it? Do I just go like off the edge? Coming, Sarah. Yep, yeah, there it is. Nothing here. Oh, there's another way. Haha. -ha. We're so close. This has to be it, right? After a final confrontation, Pierce must go to Alabaster Point, where Sarah Hawkins is supposed to be waiting for him. There he must make a decision that could change the destiny of the world. You know, at this point in time in real life, too, like, fuck it. I'd let Cthulhu out. Like, we got nowhere else to go. Like, give someone else a chance at running the ship, right? We're not doing good enough. Maybe madness and insanity is the way to go. I think reality, as I know, stopped a long time ago. Go. She is waiting. I can only move so fast. The game is programmed to let me move a certain rate. What have they done to me? It doesn't matter. We've already chosen you to be a vessel. Oh. Ah, uh, Mr. Pierce. I was expecting you. Fuller. You died in front of my eyes. Don't jump to conclusions. Is there not the tiniest spark of a scientific mind inside of that detective skull of yours? What abject substance did you use to turn her into an empty shell? Abject substance? The serum extracted from Leviathan's oil bestows the power of life. To me, my body is nothing but the mortal vessel of my conscience. To you, it contains more answers and secrets than your insignificant mind can grasp. Keep climbing, baby. We're almost there. This is it. The end of the game. You barely stand up, and yet, here you are. You never give up. That is not you. Not anymore. Not since your disappearance on the docks. Ah, 
detective. So easy to fool you. So eager to rush to the rescue of a woman in distress. You won't make me regret having tried to save people. I did what I could. Even for Colden. Your efforts to change your destiny, although in vain, make you worthy of the fate that is yours. The day has come. You will be asked to choose. Let's do it. Let's usher in a new era of madness. Climb the stairs. We've already made our decision. Our character may not have yet, but we know what's going to happen. took your right to a normal life the moment you chose power over humanity no one wants to see such an unbearable sight see like that like you when was that implication ever actually made what you speak of what i've been through like our character is just I assuming or knows that from some means that we don't know one who sleeps my marriage my family my own flesh why didn't Sarah choose me? Why is it your damn face on her painting? Oh, that's why he got so upset. He wanted but to be the, the true seeker. I can see that you will make the right choice. I don't know. I don't know. Your fear of the unknown and your stupid pride clouds your judgment. Quit lying to yourself and embrace your destiny. It's not cowering. We're trying to. Medals. None of this is real. Trust your guts. If nothing's real, what are you? I am a projection of your mind. What remains of that instinct that pulled you out of the trenches. Don't listen to them. They're too dangerous for your tired mind. I don't care. You're right, but still. All right. Here we go, BB. The final steps. The I'm moment we've there. been waiting for. The last decision of the game. The ushering in of the, the era of Cthulhu. Here you are at last, Truth Seeker. She was waiting for you. You were waiting for me. Yes. When I finally discovered the truth, I knew you would come. All this time I was fighting it, afraid of what I might discover. But I was afraid of myself. It's coming. What did you learn? <laughs> Listen to me, Edward Pierce, as I will deliver the truth. Oh, wow. Occultism Master would have given us a weird option here. Let's fucking do this one, though. Things. Strange and horrifying, but always true. Will you trust my words? Yes. One man, one man only, prepared by the trials and revelations, holds the power to change the world. Because I saw you in the dreams I share with my God. I recognize you for what you are. 
a truth seeker, one of the rare humans who is able to perceive fragments of his mind. And we have perceived, yes. baby. Yes. I feel the truth in your words. Because it was written, or, as I like to see it, painted on the canvas of fate. Pierce, help me! Algernon is still sane. Oh no. He's gonna watch us betray everything. We have to, though. We have to fulfill our destiny. So dramatic. Cultists always have a flair for the dramatic. Gone! It makes its debut again. I like that it's called Perform the Counter Ritual. Alright, let's do it. Let's perform the ritual. <laughs> we we they came here for a ritual and we're giving them one one way or another. Ritual by gun or ritual by knife? Like at, at, at a certain point, the insanity becomes the people. Like, if I had opposed this ritual, but it turns out they were all right, and that like the ritual would bring Cthulhu into this world or whatever, then like if they're saying he's gonna do amazing things or whatever in that sense, if they're like if they're right about it even existing then they're probably right about the further aspects of their religion. So the fact that this ritual even works just goes to show that it was the right choice. <laughs> You're right. That's the reality is they've all probably been brainwashed that this will do good, but in the reality is like he just wants released and he'll convince anyone to release him by promising them lies. There he is though. Dedicated to the founder of Chaos Chaosium? The, wait, the Grand Shaman of Gaming? What did that say? I right-clicked. It said right-click as back, and I right-clicked because I thought it would show me, but I guess it's doing something else entirely.
Oh, we fucked up. We've just turned the whole world into madness. Not the salvation we were promised. They killed the camera. That's not the world we wanted to create. Way to make me regret our decisions. Why would you show that? Why would you not leave it at a cliffhanger of whether or not it worked? All right, we've done it. We beat Call of Cthulhu, baby! What an ending, fuck. They're all dead now. They all went ins insane and killed each other. Whew, two more games to go. Uh, thank you all for tuning in and joining us. It was super cool. Uh, I'm gonna find a channel for us to raid real quick. Let me let me hit it up. I, I really appreciate you all. You're all amazing human beings, and and I love you all so much. Which I pretty I'm pretty sure is directed entirely at backstab right now. But he is an amazing human being, and if you don't follow his work, you absolutely should, uh, because he is both an incredible creator and a wonderful human person that that deserves much more love and appreciation than his stuff is currently getting and and this is now within the context of this stream so anyone who goes and watches this vod will see it later so all right let's see let's let's find a call of cthulhu streamer and go shoot this over to them this man oh. Um, all those can be seen at Sullivan. Oh gosh, uh, feedback loops. Okay. Uh, a picture of Mitt Romney. Uh, yeah, let's shoot it over to them because that sounds like a fucking. That, in and of itself, is just a thug name, it, and their their profile is just a picture of Mitt Romney. So, we're gonna we're gonna blast it over to them. Thank you, everyone. You have a beautiful night, and I appreciate you all. Uh, enjoy the musings of a picture of Mitt Romney. For whomever is left, cough, cough, David. Maybe you can go see another ending. 